Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome hey. to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> where we play new games on classic consoles like the Atari 2600. And, and if you're uh, on an island, yeah. <laughs> me and James have been talking about this for the last 20 minutes. Mr. A second. F Mr. Fix, I think, brought it up. I felt, what, I was... what four homebrews would you bring to the island? Yeah. And then everybody's like, "What does this island have power? I'll bring my notebook and I'll bring a satellite phone. It's like, no. Okay. Concentrate, people. We had to try and figure homebrew. out our... What four home homebrew would you bring? Or even your first one homebrew because because i just have a million questions about this island yeah. that i gotta get handled what are we gonna on. eat on this island and... you know are there gonna be people there <laughs> like what are we gonna so you know it's easy to get distracted it is but you have it... to stay focused on the topic but the homebrew stuff. we do have a poll question today so that's not it okay <laughs> but uh, i don't we... know if it's gonna be possibly compete that's the, that's a good that's one it's incredible one. Will, there, will there be wilson the volleyball maybe Depends. oh Maybe it'll yeah. wash up on shore. That's true. Um, so, if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you are, because we do broadcast at 60, because the Atari 2600 is a 60 frames per second Correct. console. Um, so, we got four games today, including one world premiere. Ooh. And one Which one's the world premiere? Bomb Game. Damn. By Blue Swimmer. That's the first one we're doing? Cool. It is, right off the top. You know, lead with the... Lead with well, the yeah. the big one, you know, um, and then we're playing Lem by uh, Phil San, who Which, has joined us. Oh, Blue Swimmer is here. It's amazing. Got a whole bunch of people, and VHZC is here. We're gonna Jeez. be playing his new game, Do Re Mi, brand new game. What other games is? Um... I'm sorry, um, I always ask this. We'll and, get to it, but okay. Blue Swimmer, you mean? Oh, VHC. Oh, VHZC. Well, because I just recognize some of our favorites. I, I, that's what fact. I was thinking. Um, he has done uh, Night Guy in Low Res World. Ah, okay. Ninjish Guy, A Roach in Space. Damn, so some cool... Carol. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good, because sometimes I just don't know, like... Uh, we play a lot of games by yeah. a lot of developers, so they get Because the second up. you say Night Guy in Low... I'm like, oh, I know who that is. Yeah. That's per that's and we're going to be playing Delta Force Sniper by Fort Apocalypse Ooh. as well. I like yeah. sniper games. Yeah, well, this is a definite sniper Whenever game. I'm in a first-person uh, game, I always lean towards sniping if I can. Oh, really? I love, like, when I was playing Far Cry, for example, yeah. my whole Far Cry 1 <laughs> Far Cry 3 was all sniping, sniping with silencer. I just... Well, once you get good at it, it's very effective because you're, you've are you got distance between you and the person. The rest of the people in the encampment right. don't know really know what's going on. They don't know where it came from, especially if you shoot, move, shoot move yeah that's right it's yeah. just fun and like when i played halo i used to snipe all the time and when i do i used to do a lot of call of duty online and i would always have fun sniping yeah. i was never call of duty is not a great sniping game because it's just so fast uh, that you yeah. can't really you, you have to be really a monster and even then it's like you look at your score you're like well if you snipe all game you get like maybe 10 points is really good oh. but if you rush in you 25 30 is like possible so yeah but sniping's fun. I'm excited for the sniper game. Yep. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's tuned in and is in the chat right now. Um, I was talking RC70, Phil Sand 69, VHZC, Blue Swimmer, Impaler 26, Splendid Nut, Retro Happy Hour, Mr. Fix, Thrust 26. Uh, lots of people chatting. I'm trying to figure out if I missed anyone. I don't know. I think I got them all. And everybody who's not chatting as well. And all the Twitch subscribers Yay. who are supporting us, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hour, who just resubscribed today. Wow. They're up to nine months and they got their new little Yeah, the badge. Z9. The Z9. Uh, Scum Software, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show too by, for free uh, by linking your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and hitting subscribe. Um, lots of good suggestions for games that they would bring. Medieval Mayhem. Uh, uh, the person who uh, uh, Phil Sand said he would take his own game to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> I would um uh -huh. uh, if if I had to Wizard like of War. Really, I was saying this to James. If I had to pick a game, I would pick a chess game of some kind with a really yeah. good computer. That's because out of the scope <laughs> of what? Damn it! I don't think there is a chess homebrew is there made. no chess homebrew? there is a chess game for the oh. 2600 so you could bring that okay um we, that but that would be the the, the cause, game because i was you. trying to pick of something that would be like you know lo-fi right yeah. like not like 
not like massive because that would be that would be my 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 yep. dream but the question is homebrew so. homebrew yeah. but you picked uh amoeba, amoeba jump amoeba, amoeba jump. jump would be if i had to pick amoeba yep. jump uh there's mappy wizard of war draconian seaweed assault uh was mentioned galagon uh some other ones i uh, can't find uh add a jacob at a Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the poll question today, which is not that question, Ooh. is how do you usually buy your homebrew games? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, like what packaging, what version of the homebrew game? Um, option number, I'll put it up very shortly, but uh, option number one is deluxe limited edition glow in the dark pre-order day zero version. <laughs> these, are, these are the people who buy the deluxe package with all the accessories for the the bigger yeah. price. These are the ones that are in l usually limited quantity, very short run. Um, the ones that people who just want to get the best version of it. It's probably pre-ordered. Oh yeah, kind you have to put your too, you have to put and... your name down for it, and you get in a line. And uh, the second option is. Kind of the the bigger one, the boxed copy with the manual and the cart. So you like you like the box. Maybe you don't want to go for all the bells and whistles, yeah. but you like a nice box you can put on your shelf. Um, third option is just the cart and the manual, just the bare bones. I just want the cart. I don't need the box. Yeah, it takes up too much space on my shelf. I don't have all the room for a box, but I'll have enough room for a cartridge. And number four, I don't usually buy homebrew. I just play the free ROMs. So these people are are all virtual. They don't need all this all this clutter. They just need some games on a SD card. So let's start that poll. Boom. There you go. One, two, a, three, or four. I had a real um, exciting thing. Well, it wasn't exciting, but it was a it was a moment where I thought about the show. Yeah. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite PC games. Um, I now have Windows 10. I was trying to install it, and. Yep. The amount of workarounds I had to try to do to get this game to work on my PC, and in the end, yeah. it didn't quite work. Was it an older um, game? It's, it's not even that old. It's 2001. So the th well, but, different windows have been... Oh, you have Mac. Oh, oh I have PC. Okay, PC. So, yeah, different versions of Windows, and if, you know, you have to have the right DirectX or whatever exactly. installed. Exactly, and this is where I was thinking one of the beautiful things about uh, the Atari 2600 and the yeah. homebrew is it's like... Or consoles in general. Consoles in general yeah. is that you know that you plug this cartridge into this thing, yeah. you plug this into a TV, you are going to be able to play it. And even and, more so for older games, that absolutely. was the version. There's no updates, there's no yep. downloading patches because patches would be long gone and and in some cases older games that did have patches you can't get them anymore so when you buy the disc um that's the version you have bugs and all totally. you won't be able to update it ever and i was saying like on the show at one point oh my god pc games so much better blah 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 blah. Mm. and then i was literally hitting a point where i was like oh maybe this is why because if you want to go back and play your favorite games that are pc yeah is very 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 real chance that you won't necessarily oh they'll be buggy yeah. or who knows if the new yeah. software would do it or if the developers will keep updating yeah. so it's so cool that like um uh that you guys are keeping this going yeah. and that that we found Same all these hardware ways. works for the new games it's amazing yeah and that's something that we really i don't know in like 20 it's, years 10 years there's gonna be a lot of games we won't be able to play anymore and yes. i think we will be probably able to continue to play 2600 yeah. games which is hilarious and new games that will be lost to the ether because they're just download only and now they don't offer them anymore so it's gonna Absolutely. be this dark ages of games starting you know mid 2000s yeah that they just won't exist absolutely you, you'd be like oh remember that game oh yeah let's play it oh you can't yeah. It's not there. You can't download it. The company has gone bankrupt, and nobody and, has a copy of and it. And even if you have a download and you've upgraded your computer, yes. you might not be able to like now load it, or yeah. you have to load it on an old computer, and then that yeah. hardware shuts down. It's 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 kind of sad, actually. Yeah. It was a nice moment where I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to get to do the thing. Yep, you'll just have to watch old, grainy YouTube videos of other people playing. That's right. <laughs> Go, oh, that looked like a good game. I do watch um, some YouTube channels of people that have purpose-built old computers of an era. <sighs> Makes sense. And they go, this is my computer for 
2000 or say 95 to 2005 and it runs those games in that era yep with this win version of windows and this type of hardware and it's like it's maxed out for that era so you get to play these games in their perfect form like the developers were playing them in the office probably yeah and, and even the resolution scaling is really crazy like i mean the game was really made for 600 by 800 maximum yeah. and yeah. when you blow up 600 by 800 onto like an hd <laughs> it doesn't look good and no. so and it's and it is one of those things where it's like weirdly if you were to take an sd and play it on an sd monitor it actually doesn't look terrible at all yeah. but now with hd scaling it's like you'd need to remaster stuff it's just and it, it does happen people they remaster Hell with yeah. different uh, new textures welcome dan k welcome yeah he says i wish he had his 2000 to play half-life half-life was a cool yeah. game man so uh on the weekend I went to a new arcade. Oh, how was in that? In the Vancouver area. It was in New Westminster. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and it really concentrated in the late 70s to mid 80s arcade games, which is like heaven. <laughs> this is exactly, heaven. this is the place you should be. Yeah. Um, and I was chatting with the guy. He's super friendly. He, he keeps track of the local high scores for all the games that he has. Oh, I, did you did you uh, get some uh, some of those scores? I got some high scores. <laughs> Something tells me. Um, <laughs> so the games that I played and concentrated on there was, of course, Galaga. He had Galaga there. Um, he had Timber, which is a game I've never played before. I, uh, people had mentioned it in the Atari, Atari Age forums, and it was like bringing it up. It's like, oh, that would make a good Atari Twenty Six Hundred game. And I looked at it. It's like, oh yeah, that would make a pretty good one. It's 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 somewhat simplistic, but you could do it, um, and it was a lot of fun. I liked that game. Um, I played Bosconian, which is the arcade version of Draconian, where <laughs> Draconian came from. Um, I had not played it since the 80s. Oh, my God. It was so much fun. Oh, my God. And, and playing it on the 2600 really um, trained me well, let's say. I was kicking ass at it probably compare it yeah because oh you had God. i mean I nothing so much draconian nothing beats practice yes. there's no yeah so you that a was... quarter you got to put a quarter in or no you, it's or free it... play okay cool so you play pay for the hour and you pay, play as much as you want in that's, any game that's very smart yeah so you can practice and just move around to any games like no i don't like this game or oh i want to try this out and you can just die who cares I, I start remember over in the in the mid like to late 2000s i used to go to um like a pc gaming cafes oh uh, yes and that's right. and that was like uh, this hilarious weird time where mouses still had balls in them and you would like go and like terrible. and, terrible and like mice. and hang out and like and it was the same thing you'd pay like an hour and all these computers yeah. would be full of just like a bunch of games like 10 yeah. games or something and but i played um also played satan's hollow which is one of my favorite games uh, i played that a ton on the c64 and i got a Further than I've ever gone in the arcade, and got top score in top score in the arcade. So uh, my name is hopefully still there. Um, he hasn't put it online yet. Um, the scores, but it, ZPH is my, oh, good. my initials. So, they, they, but I'll be going represent. back. Yeah, so I'll be going back there for my birthday. Good. So that'll be like my birthday thing because usually I go to Vip. When's your birthday? Uh, early October. Okay, cool. October third. I mean, it's been out there before. Yeah. Um, usually I go to Vip. Because it's on, it's always near. That makes sense. Always on during VIF, and then we're gonna do the movies, and Shit. then go to the arcade after. Do you know when my birthday is? No. September thirtieth. Oh, that's really <laughs> this close. Is literally, wow, within, like... days away. <laughs> wow, there we I go. I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh wow, so that is an amazing place uh, that I will be going back to again and again and again. So I put some pictures up on zero page homebrew uh facebook and instagram of uh me playing the games so i got some feedback on that um and do you think they're gonna bring in more console more like um uh, uh arcade machines or do you, like to have that place yeah or do, is there gonna think, be a rotation or yeah there's i would say 40 50 games oh, there geez. and he said he has hundreds of boards that he can swap out good like, okay like there this, that yeah. is heaven then, because if, if you show up... You can up... request. You can request games Damn. that he will swap out. This guy's got so many games. 
He's uh, gonna he's gonna do well with that place. Hopefully, yep. It's it's really well set up. He's gonna put a nacho bar. That's the way in to do there, it. And he is gonna be licensed soon as well, so you can drink there. You can get hammered. Yep. and Play your. It's uh, it's really really nice. That's a perfect thing for like a you know a a, a father and son, father daughter, yep. you know kind of thing. Then him and his wife work there. That's who was there or, at the or, time. Or, or, she was just as knowledgeable as he was for the video games. That's a good or the mother, aunt, yep. like whatever. Like you know, if you're that generation, bringing someone from your younger generation to come and hang out and like. Oh yeah, yeah. So we have a box to open up. Let's see what it is. I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Maybe something else, but... Mail call. Oh, can't show that side. Come on. Get under there. Oh, no. Mr. Fix said, I have a basement full of arcade games and pinball, but I can't go down there. My elevator's broken, and I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, no. Get that elevator fixed. Yeah, you got to... Get back to those arcade that's, games. That's important stuff. Yeah. Oh, my What's God. What's in the box? That's What's right. in the box? As Brad Pitt would say. It will be less <laughs> dramatic than uh, than 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 uh, that movie. Hopefully, I hope we really hope so. This it's would be Tanya. a very very oh, surprising <laughs> version of this. Is you know, yeah, felony seven. charges are <laughs> yeah. inbound. And this is from from Al Atari oh, Age. Really? Let's see what this is. It's a bot, lots. Of, it's packing peanuts. Joaquin no. Ferrero. Joaquin, who said that? That's the guy's oh, name. Joaquin Ferrero. That's Welcome. A... Hey, Joaquin. He's sleeping, apparently. Or I'm taking too long to open the box. Um, well, <laughs> that's the first one. That's probably <laughs> the, the, the... Or he's the, just waking up. Suggestion. Or well, now he... he's sleepwalking and typing in uh, yeah. Twitch. Hi. Hey. His crazy name. Hi. Yeah, Joaquin Ferrero. It's a mix between a, a, an actor and a chocolate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It is Boulder Dash. Wow. Now this is a game I've been waiting to play for a very long time. Um, years. Um, it was released, um, I would say a decade ago, um, on Atari Age. And, um, but it was very limited. Uh, I can't remember how many were released. Uh, 200? Something like that. Um, and then they uh, were not able to sell it anymore because this is a licensed game. Like, it still belongs and is active, uh, belong to uh, First Star Software. I believe they've been uh, transferred hands by now. Yeah. Um, but I'll get into that when we play this. They getting in any trouble? No, no trouble. This was fully licensed. That's good. Properly licensed, but their license only allowed them to sell X copies. And after those were sold, it's done. So nobody could buy this anymore. And it was, um, unfortunately, uh, not before my time, before I started collecting homebrew. Oh, yeah. Um, so I missed out on, on getting it. So I was not able to have this for the show to do a review on it. Um, be, there's a demo version on the internet, but it only has X, X levels. And I wanted to do a proper version of it. So I've been, I've, you know, been waiting and there was a version that was going around the world. Like people were loaning it to each other. Yeah. But I missed out on that too, unfortunately. Um, so thankfully, um, Andrew Davey, um, Thomas Yance and wow. Al have, uh, been able to, uh, loan me this for the show. Um, so we can do a proper playthrough of it. Are we doing? When are we doing that? I don't know yet. I will schedule it um, before I go away next. Yeah. But I do want to play this offline, so I don't <laughs> just <laughs> play. It's not easy. Yeah. It's It's a challenging game. It's a It's a puzzle action game where you're digging underground and you have to get um, diamonds. And there's the bad guys, butterflies going after you. Um, so uh, this will take time. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Andrew Davey. Thank you, Al, for enabling the show to be able to play Boulder it's Dash. It's a huge deal, man. It is a massive, massive deal um, because they're very limited copies, and everybody who has a copy is... Um... Oh, I'm... oh, the Stel Stelathon arrived safely. Oh, that's excellent. That's, that's wonderful. It's Nathan Strum's 
uh, donation. Yeah. And Al from Atari Age, who donated all the manuals. That's excellent. It got That's there. That's great to hear. And I know James was uh, dealing with a lot of the eBay stuff. Yeah, and, a lot of the is... shipping. Um, I mean, I had to coordinate because Absolutely. I was the middleman between the people who donated and the people who uh, got the winning bid on the items. But it all went very smoothly. Everything has been uh, sent out except for... The games who aren't done and yet, and that's the the, <laughs> like the Galagon the, and uh, um, a Gold Rush um, is are, are not done yet. They'll be done in the fall, so those will be sent out. But the rest of the games, whoosh, and yeah. everything is all out there. Oh, the, yes, these go for about uh, U.S. two hundred and fifty dollars or more. Wow! So these are very sought after because of the limited amount and how good they were, how good they are, uh, yeah. how well it's made, um, because this was made without any uh coprocessor wow. inside it and it is astounding what uh they were able to achieve thomas yentz and andrew davy with this game it has like when you dig there's boulders that fall it's all like it's a cross section like um an ant farm almost so you dig the dirt and the boulders can if you dig away the dirt the boulders can fall and then if that boulder falls, another boulder could fall. So it's constantly doing calculations, looking at the screen, whether things should move or not. And they cascade in order. It's, it's unbelievably complex for a 2600 game. So it, doesn't, it does calculations not, not all at once. It does them progressively. It's unbelievable. So uh, we won't be playing this today because I just opened it. And I but wanna, it's amazing that I it's wanna here. I want to prepare. It is amazing it's here. I've been waiting years to play this, literally years. like since Obviously since the uh, show started. And I had planned before the show started to try and get a copy. Just to, to play. Just for the show. Oh, wow. Um, so this is, this is wonderful, everybody who helped um, make this happen. Oh, Draconian Stray Frosty 2 also arrived uh, safely. Yes, I believe most of the things that uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Uh, donated have arrived safely. Um, and also, we are starting to get plans going for the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards, which is exciting. There's no rest for the wicked. There's never rest for the wicked. It's <laughs> always one thing to the next to the next. Which is important. Yeah. And got a show to run here. <laughs> we are uh, expanding a little bit into Atari 7800, 5200, and the 8 bit computer line wow. uh, for uh, giving awards. There'll be just one for each of those best homebrew of the year because those aren't as big as the 2600 homebrew scene, but they deserve. Uh, some recognition. Yeah, there's some folks working hard on, on, on those consoles too. Yeah. It's cool to spread the love. And obviously, I'm going to defer. Uh, the expertise to the people in those fields um, to make sure that that's handled correctly. Um, obviously, we'll be doing the announcing, but we won't be handling of what, what has come out, what are the best ones. For now, the show's probably staying with 2600. Um, oh, the show will never... Yeah, that's what I figured. Never expand. I There's plenty to do in the 2600 that's what I, realm. That's what I thought. It's a very active community. It's it's my favorite console. It makes sense. You, you got all the stuff here. Yeah. I, 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 I just figured it good to clarify it that. Because if we're expanding yeah. out, there's an assumption that maybe the oh. show might change. But it's good to hear that. Yeah, we won't. We won't change. Because at the end of the day, it's this guy who makes those decisions. <laughs> that's right. And it's, you know. Hey, Dan ABC. That's one of the things about, like, working yeah. hard on the show is that you oh. you get to guide where it goes and i have to understand how these games work and i i know a lot more about the 2600 yeah. than those other things and i don't want to speak out a turn about no. them and i want to make sure that i do a, a good show and you should only really speak about things that you're knowledgeable about and i'm just barely knowledgeable about yeah. the 2600 so uh, so let's get into the games um, so the first game is Bomb Game. Ooh, and this is a, uh, we got the developer in chat, and this we is a... do, and it's a world premiere Jeez. exclusive, and it hasn't really even been announced, this game. Interesting. So this is kind of... So this is a, a kind of a cool little premiere, I guess. It is a, like a true premiere. It was al it's almost like Galaga, the, Gala Ooh. the Galagon um, premiere. Not quite, because um, this one... He did, he did show this game on his YouTube account. 
So the only people who have actually seen this game are people who are subscribed to his YouTube account. Oh, I feel very lucky. Um, so it is a two-player game. Oh, sick. So let's get you second controller here. Yay. Um, so let's take a look. Oh, I don't have the, um, the poll question up. Let's check in that. Yeah, let's see what happened there. There we go. So, uh, how do you usually buy your homebrew games? Uh, the first one is the Deluxe Limited Edition First Day Zero That's Glow in the Dark. one of the, the most dark. balanced ones. Yeah, very balanced. Uh, so that one is tied with the third option, just the cart and the manual. I know a lot of people just, just want the cart, just to play it, have the actual one. Um, with 30... Oh, it's... Yeah, tied for 30%. Oh, now it's all tied. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> It just changed. Uh, box copy with manual and cart is now tied for third as well. Um, and then most, then only one out of 10 people, uh, said, I don't usually buy homebrew. I just play the free ROMs. And I know a lot of people just played in Stella, um, and don't have money to buy them. Yeah. Which is totally fine. So let's get the bomb game going. Yeah. It's more of a collector kind of thing thing i guess but i mean yeah. it depends i mean there are some releases i guess that have features that you can't get when you download yeah some people don't uh release the full game which makes for the sense. download because you know they have to encourage uh you know some people just won't buy it if it's out there for free well totally and it, at the end of the day if, if a developer has been working on something for a long time they deserve to have some return <laughs> deserve i don't know but but they they would like it yeah they, they somewhat expect it yeah um so this is this game is done by blue swimmer who is in the chat today welcome thank you for uh being here today um to answer anybody's questions that they might have or our questions uh it was first posted on youtube on his youtube account uh on july 19th just days ago and this build is from yesterday, so it's fresh, fresh off the press. It's a 4K game. Other games by Blue Swimmer, um, Balloon Trip, super fun game. Bomb game, this one. Birds and Beans and Tumble Temple. Ooh. And this one is not available yet. I don't know when or if he will make it available. Maybe he'll wait a couple iterations. Um, so this game is not announced anywhere. I only knew about it because I'm subscribed to his YouTube account because that's i have to keep up on all these things make yeah, sure you're, i know you're what's connected into this finger on the pulse as they <laughs> would say um and he posted on july uh, 19th uh info from blue swimmer there's still a decent amount of stuff that i want to add title screen ai opponent yes good more maps very cool um but i think it's in a good enough state where i can uh can be shown so on the stream i'll make this version available after i get home from work oh perfect so uh, everybody's watching this you'd be able to download it in the atari age forums i believe that's why it's amazing to have developers that's right here. they it's... can answer the questions immediately and you can help us with the game too if, if we're you know, that's right depending on how we're doing yeah sometimes um, we need a bit of help sometimes we're good it's a two-player game involving two things unnamed i guess chucking bombs at each other use the joystick move left or right press the button to shoot the longer you hold down the button before releasing it the further your bomb goes cool falling into the water or getting hit by a bomb means you lose also the play field can be destroyed by the bombs so keep that that in mind there we go currently there's a makeshift idle screen as you can see right here uh ooh, ooh, look at that purple i know oh, it's boy. it's frustrating <laughs> Because it's like, but the green is perfect. The green is perfect. So before the I show... I think the blue and purple is going to be the bane of our existence. Yeah. Before the show, we were calibrating, well, he was calibrating, uh, the colors uh, yeah. for for the 2600. And I, I nailed it's everything but closer. the blue and purple. The yeah. blue and purple was like, the well, for whatever reason, the threshold between those two. Yeah. I think we'll tweak it a little bit afterwards. It's good to see it now. Yeah, but, uh, it is. But we'll we'll tweak it some more. It's uh, <laughs> and we're fighting the limitations of just the software because we're not yes, we don't have like you can't nail down okay let's just change the blues now yeah it's yeah. it's a general thing on the screen on this screen just press the button on the first controller and the game will start um i plan on replacing this with proper title screen in a future version of the rom okay so i am left 
you're right. You're destroying your own little uh, island there. And you can't move while charging up. And uh, so I'm the red guy. Erlen's the blue guy. And it's pretty evenly matched so far. Oh, ho, ho, almost got you there. He uh, seems... Oh, yes! Seems to be destroying my island. Yeah. <laughs> bit by bit. Oh, ho, ho! Ran into it. Very, very good controls. The guys move at a very nice pace. Whoa. Ah! Oh, yeah! designs of the guys are awesome when he's uh, charging up for his bomb his uh, his eyes change and the little little feet move oh it's excellent oh oh my god i did not know that you can dig yourself out oh i can't dig yourself backwards that's yeah, tough Ooh, that's something different tactics oh some tactics oh god Oh god, Erlen's learned some things now. <laughs> Not really. It's it's there's there's, there's a level of luck, because um, it's like it takes a bit of time to figure out the aiming. Yeah. There you go. Oh. So we're both going for that that strategy, digging a hole. Oh! Oh my God! Guys definitely move fast enough that you can get out of the way of a bomb. Yeah, man, it's like... But if you move the wrong way, you're going to get hit. Because you are... Actually, you're probably as fast as the bomb, it looks like. Yeah, you're about as fast as the bomb goes horizontally. <coughs> oh, shit. Ah! Love the sprites, yep. Very, very good sprites. Oh my god. I can see uh, what, are, what kind of different terrain you could make. Oh my god. Oh no! I fell, fell in the water. I <laughs> guess you could make a pretty steep. Because you can't go up two inclines, right? wonder how the game would work if you were connected together. I guess it would be too easy to just get beside yeah, you and just you would press just the button like... that die. Yeah, we both had the same <laughs> idea. This is dangerous yeah. stuff. Oh yeah, my island is getting small. See, there, there is a level of tactics there. Oh yeah. There, have a pet. Oh god. I have to kill you. Ah, good work. <laughs> oh. The bomb's horizontal speed actually increases as you charge it. Oh. Wait a second. Yeah, I was noticing that. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, okay. It's an in it's an interesting like thing to wrap the way brain high. around. Oh my god. Like yeah, like if I just do like full oh. Should it go like straight up in the air? Let's see what happens. I wonder what the limitation is of it. Yeah. Oh, it does it put just, a limit it, on it. It just kind of arcs like crazy. About half a half screen arc. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back to dying. Back to you dying, dying, dying. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Ah. Yes. Ooh. Hmm. 
So what could be done more with this game? It's interesting because like we hit the threshold already. Yeah. <laughs> That's the tough part about something like this. Um, I think um, definitely like best out of. Yeah, we need some points. Yeah, definitely um, points. Also, terrain shifts would be fun. Like, if we had different, um, you know, like, if after, a, if you did, like, best to three, and then it, like, changed, so you had, like, a different, like, platform to deal with. Right. You know, like, having one connected would be fun. Having one that's, like, yes. taller, so you're, like, really high up. Um, you know what I mean? So it's like you then have to like... Um, oh, one is high, one's low. low. You know, just it would be interesting to just have some different terrain because that, that would... Because if, if you think about like the... Or some sinking terrain. Fuck like yeah. there's a time limit. Like your island is... Your, both your islands are sinking. That would, or, or they could be growing. Or however they you, could be moving. Oh, yeah. Right? Left to right. Just to sort of... Because I think that would be basically... Um, uh, because right now, this terrain, I feel like I got a handle on it. Yeah. That's... <laughs> only you can save me in this one. Help me. Help me get backwards. Bring that down. No, not me. Get it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you can screw yourself by making a pit. And then just like, oh. And then you're stuck. Then you're done. Rip. But you can't kill yourself. I think you can. Nope. Like, shooting yourself? No. Nope. Like, you, you can kill yourself that way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's you hitting the water. Maybe a flyover bomb dropper. <gasps> that would be yes. really cool. Something that, like... Some planes that come down after after a while yeah because to me that drop their bombs that this, would the, be the control really, really of the character and the oh, perfect. bombing mechanics is perfect. all there it's movement don't great. change it at all it's perfect it's just we need more of an environmental shift and yep. the thing is is you don't need much like if you rotated no. through a few different ones and then came back to the beginning i would be delighted yeah. to just keep playing yeah oh yeah and it would be nice too if maybe after every kill the train shifts like you could I also, think so. I think that would be good because, yeah, just a, a random selection. Because think about this is not that dissimilar to like the, the, the bomb style, worm style game, very, right? Very, very, um, very much so. But less calc less like turn based. It's a little more action. Yeah. But those games are only fun because every level is different. So you have to constantly yes. calculate a different, like, like. Yeah trajectory and i like actually that this doesn't have like wind speed and all that stuff because i actually uh, don't enjoy yeah. that when that happens no i mean i, I don't think that would be a good add-on no. wind speed um what you could do is have power-ups maybe like maybe one, yeah one power-up that's a bit bigger bomb like just a slightly bit bigger bomb and it drops somehow from the plane or you have to hit it i don't know how you would do that and make it fair because if the plane dropped it on the left hand side the power up or the or if you kill a plane you get the power up because like oh, that's the thing too because because yeah. that gives us an incentive to shoot really high right oh uh, yes have things up high so like if power you, ups that you so have to kill so you have to take your concentration off of the other player and then if you get a power up you can then like do a big bomb that will like destroy a bunch of the and the... if you hit that power up at the wrong time it falls on your opponent yeah and the, your opponent gets it, but if you hit it when it's on your side, you get it. Yes, yes, yes. It's actually inspired mostly by Minecraft minigame. Oh, which which I won. I don't know. I'd never played Minecraft. I mean, I've seen people play it. I've um, never played it. I've, yeah, I've seen people as well. I, I taught this um, video production class to like hey. uh, 11 to 13 year olds. Mm. And fuck me, man. Like every kid had a Minecraft going. All the boys. <laughs> I could teach the girls at that age because they were interested in making movies. But these you turn around and they would have installed Minecraft and they were playing Minecraft. Oh, so it actually put me off the game because it was just like crack for these kids and i couldn't <laughs> stop them from playing it and i was it was like my job to teach these kids and make sure that they had a movie by the end of a week and like <laughs> literally i had to ban minecraft and i, and I, minecraft. And I became like the minecraft enemy like they were all and it had a kid like flip me off they were like I, I so it actually always hurt my soul so i have never wanted to really <laughs> minecraft after that which is touch? a shame we should be able to touch each other Ah! <laughs> ah! I just wanted to see what would happen if that if that went yeah. down. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there's a game where you throw TNT at each other. Ah, oh, oh, so this makes sense. And for Minecraft, kind that's of perfect. Because that. I mean, uh, here's the thing, man. If you want to truly be inspired by Minecraft, we can build as well as destroy. That's that's the oh. ultimate. I mean, that's Fortnite's fucking bid, and like that's yeah. You could either drop sand, or drop things where it enables the person to build. I mean, that's a very contemporary, a uh, yeah. new game mechanic that has been like, you don't wildly a, popular. You don't have up or down assigned right now, so there's lots of um, lots of things you could have stored. Because you could, if you could, if you could build and destroy, yes. that would be the most insane. And then, and then you wouldn't need the terrain changes, because you could, you, you could build like a like a wall. Yeah, you know build what I mean? up a and fort. Then, and 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 that is a lot of what what we what we've seen with games. I mean, Fortnite. I you can't think of a more popular game, and yeah. all that Fortnite figured out was building. They were yeah. like, let's take Minecraft and Call of Duty and make it third person and make it a battle royale in ten minutes. And yeah. it's changed the world. Everyone loves that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you could... Oh, what you could do is press down to dig. You could, like, take your own pieces. Like, down to dig a piece from below you and up to build it up where you stand. So up, down. You can build up your own fort. Or And if you're, if you're being distracted by building your own fort, the other guy could just be bombarding you. That's right, man. So that still makes it even like it's a... It's you wanted a, to make it the it's ultimate. A have it change every level and you can build and destroy. Yeah. And this would be the most epic shit of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Add all that in. It, that, would, that wouldn't take much, I don't think. Like, Because uh, if, it, if it's have truly in, inspired by Minecraft, that is what makes yeah. Minecraft very cool. Yeah. Is that you can, you can build. And... Yeah. Um, because I, I had in my mind uh, another game where it's some, somewhat like that, where you can build yeah. and, and add. Um, but this is a great application for it. Yeah. Um, I mean, Minecraft blew the socks off of everybody, right? No one yeah. saw that one coming. No, because it's so simplistic, but it's then the... expandable at the same time. And I mean, Lego is obviously the idea... Yeah. But 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 it's but also the idea that you can kind of construct your own world. I mean, I love this game called The Forest, and that's basically a Minecraft ripoff, but more like in a horror genre. Mm. Which I that's why I like it compared to other things. But you know, and then obviously Fortnite is another good example. Um, but there's not a hell of a lot of. <laughs> oh, <laughs> first shot. So yeah. The, I think this is a really a very great start. cool game, dude. Fuck and yeah. that's and that's what you really want to do when you're developing a game: create the core basics of it first, prove it out, make sure that is fun, and then anything you add on to it is a bonus. Totally. You sometimes you don't want to add too much because then it 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 destroys the initial concept of it. Um, but I think there's a lot of add-ons. And I'd say 10 out of 10 movement control oh firing. And, yeah. and if you can f nail that, I'll play your game. Yeah. If you can't yeah. nail that, it doesn't matter how amazing yeah. everything else is, I'm out. The, the sound is Character really design quiet. is cool. Sorry, you um, guys can't hear the sound. There we go. Um, yeah, character design's already done. Like, Don't change any of that. Don't change the movement. Don't change the sound of them moving. It sounds like they're walking on sand. Very cool, and uh, the dying's fine. And the, and, and then the, the <laughs> very standard. And learning how to do the aiming is really fun. Like very was, intuitive. The, very intuitive. Like you just got me in one shot after not shooting anything for a long time, way on the left hand side. Like very intuitive. Yeah. Yeah, it took it took me a little while to figure it out, and then once I did, it was like yay. <laughs> yeah, and like the little hats they're wearing look like little cannons that they're shooting out of. Love the little bending yeah, down, concentrating. It's like, you know, like, uh, it, 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 like boom. It's, it signifies that like your guy's doing certain things. Yeah. Oh, he said it's the tumble town. It's the it's the tumble temple walk sounds, but sped up. Oh, hey, I, why not borrow from what you've already done? Hell yeah. I want to hear the sound where he's charging up a little bit better here. Yeah, they're cannons, totally. I like that. So that kind of gives you an idea too, like how long you hold it down for. I like that. It 
it, it's got nice like a siren almost like a, a warning siren and then it flat lines which yep. is nice no everything's really really good yeah they're cannons walking cannons yeah they almost look like the the, the black bombs in uh mario brothers oh totally except they're white here yeah and they don't have wicks they're 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 actually cannons. Or like little skulls with hats and feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the color scheme is is wonderful, of the the red and the orange and the blue and the lighter blue. It's really good. Oh, it's very washed out. Ah, the black. Yeah. yeah. And the yellow. No. Should I mess with it? Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's why I wanted to play a game. Yeah. Because it's so different when you're playing a game. Oh, I feel like messing with Pull it. Pull it up real quick. We'll do it. We'll do it. Do it live. Okay. Okay, so contrast up. And then let's keep... Yeah, just keep going until... Yeah, about there is good. Okay. And then let's do... He, and that's... Uh, sat's probably fine. Okay. Let's do hue and then just... Really? Okay. Oh, with the purple? Yeah. Up? Uh, let's try up and see what the, that does. Uh, oh, nope, that's the wrong way. Yeah, the other, other direction. They're, these guys are seeing it live. They're doing it. Um, let's say about there for now. I mean, it's tough because it's like... Oh, it's not moving much. Let me do it. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, that's... That yellow changes too much. Yeah, it's kind of in between the two. Yeah, Yeah, that's pretty Closer. good. Is that about the original settings? I imagine it is. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the what's that's the, the original? So that's actually better than the original a little bit because the blue is a Way little bit Way better than the original. Yay! Okay. Okay. Good enough. Thanks. Use yeah. the palette demo. We did. We did, and it's tough. We we but I mean that's good. We started with the palette demo, and now we just tweaked it for this. And this is actually looks pretty good. Pretty. Yeah, the whites are nice, and that was the biggest complaint. Was the whites are a bit yellow. Yeah, the whites are good. The whites are good. The yellow's a bit desaturated, and the blue's a little purplish, a little dark blue, but it's, it's and not bad. Anyway, that's good enough for now. Is, is, the, is the yellow supposed to be yellow? It's supposed to be a little darker yellow. Um, so, yeah. But it's, um, I'd, I'd rather broadcast something that's a little desaturated, because most people um, sat on, the, uh, on their end. Oh, yes. Um, okay. okay. So that is uh, a really great start, and uh, so we're going to move on to the second game, which is, oh, has the change, oh, looks like just the cart has won out so far, it's not done yet, but we're at 41% for the just continues. the cart and manual, so you can put your vote in if you haven't voted, one, two, three, or four, if you want multiple, I think it's just one space, two, or one comma, two. I've fixed that now. We're going to play Lem. We're going to be moving on to Lem. Let me... That's one thing I forgot to do beforehand, is get the graphics up for each of the games. But luckily, that only takes two seconds. Yeah, it's not too hard at all. Okay. Hold that. Oh, sick. Got it. I think the rest are one-player games, so I'm going to put in the Atari Vox. Yay! Just so we can hear it. I, I don't like think that. any of them use the Atari Vox, but... Oh, we didn't hear it. We didn't hear it. And they didn't hear it either. Oh, they heard it. Yeah, they heard it. Okay. Should I hit it or should we wait? Uh, no, go for it. Oh, God. Uh, I think it's the first one, but you can hold down the button now. Go down to it. This one? Hold down the button. Oh, hold it down longer. <laughs> uh, nope. Go down the second one. Yeah, that's the one. Sick. Oh, sorry. That's very loud. Each game is, has its own volume. <laughs> and that is a uh, Depeche Mode song. Oh, a Blue Swimmer just said, uh, thanks for playing. Oh, there it is. I'm going to head back to work now. Oh, thanks uh, for dropping uh, in. I'm glad to premiere here. Thanks, man. I Thank appreciate you so that much. a lot. It's always nice to uh, show off people's new games. Hell as, yeah. Uh, especially right at the beginning. Um, hopefully some of our suggestions help spur some ideas on yeah, for what and, you want to do. And I think that could be made into a very killer game. And like anything, take it in the direction you want to see yeah. it go. 
Yeah. These are just These are just suggestions. Spitballing. So this is Lem uh, by Filippo Santeloco. <laughs> uh, aka Phil San who is in the chat with us today welcome another developer hey, thank Phil you San. so much uh, this was first posted as far as I could tell uh, first discussed March 14th 2010 wow uh, this build is from 2010 um, and it took a while to get into the store um, it was released in the store in 2015 so it was a long wait long long wait he had it all ready to go and I know what the delay was maybe he can explain that in a bit more because it didn't really go into what the delay was he was waiting on cartridges it looked like or or the um yeah the insides of the cartridges no patch by the time he ordered yeah there's also it came with a patch uh that came with it you didn't have to earn it but wow. uh came automatically with a patch and we're uh kind of playing this uh at a very opportune time it is the uh 50th anniversary of the moon landing really this is what this today uh two days ago whoa okay. three days three days ago on the 20th um My God. apollo 11 was the space flight that first landed humans on the moon commander neil armstrong and the lunar module buzz aldrin formed the american crew that landed the apollo lunar module eagle on july 20th 1969 at uh 2017 utc um, Armstrong became the first person to step on the lunar surface six hours and 39 minutes later on July 21st. So they actually stepped foot on the moon on the 21st, which is two days ago. Wow. Two days plus 50 years. <laughs> Aldrin joined him 19 minutes later. They spent about two and a quarter hours together outside the spacecraft and collected 21 kilograms of lunar material. Did you see that movie with Ryan Gosling? I never saw no, it. No, I didn't. I'd like to see that one. I should, I should watch it. Actually, we're going to um, show the arcade version of Lunar Lander, where oh. all these kind of games came from. Um, so let's take a look at that. And it'll give you an idea of where the inspiration from these all these landing games came from, which is where they were made 10 years after the, uh, the actual spacecraft landed on the moon. <laughs> That bring that sense. over to that screen. There we go. Let me switch over to this. Oh, perfect. It's working already. Oh, it started. Turn that up. Great sounds on this, too. Oh, I guess you hear it. There we go. Oh, it's loud. Very good thrust sound. What's the time the, the... So this was made in 1979, this video game. Lunar Lander is a single-player arcade game in the Lunar Lander subgenre. It was developed by Atari and released in August 1979. And this was the, actually the first vector game made by Atari for the arcade. There were other vector games beforehand. I don't think this guy... Oh, no. Okay, he recovered. Um, in the game, the player controls a lunar landing module as viewed from the side and attempts to land safely on the moon. The player burns fuel points to rotate the module and fires a thruster to counteract gra gravity, earning points based on the skillfulness and difficulty of the landing. Uh, it's very meditative. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a slow game, but you do run out of fuel, so... Well, yeah, it's very, like, you're just watching this. He's got a lot of fuel left, though. Eagle has landed. 250 Yay. points. Okay, that's hilarious. So, times five, too, right? Yeah, so you want to land on the... In this game, you want to land on the small ones for more points, and the easier ones have less points. The game resets the module after every successful landing or crash with a new landing terrain and ends when the player runs out of fuel. The player can insert more coins at any time to buy more fuel. Wow. So you could just rack up the fuel if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> One of the early, early versions of uh, pay to win. Right? Yep. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, you get the idea. The original MTX. This goes on for 13 <laughs> minutes. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. I think it's pretty much the same over and over. And just changes. And you just eventually run out of fuel totally, I guess. And it says Atari. So, was this an Atari game or an arcade game? Arcade makes game sense. made by Atari. Ah, okay. Um, that makes they had their sense. arcade division That's... and then they had their home console division. That, that makes oh, it's going to make it. 
This guy's nailing it. There we go. It's pretty good. The Columbia has landed. Okay. So let's go back to Lem. And I'll stop this so you guys don't hear it in the background. <laughs> there we go. Mr. Fix says, this is awesome. A better game than mine. Well, the Atari 2600 has less capabilities, obviously. <laughs> it's a different. It's just but different, man. There's a great. Uh, there's the great. Uh, we got. Sometimes we gotta st be very careful with these words. Better, or worse. No. You know? it's very different. It's like, especially when you come to things that are subjective. And you don't know until you played it. Correct. Because playability of game is king over graphics, sound, everything. Playability is number one. Like. Like, let's think about those three games people mentioned yeah. for, like, the island. We got Galagon, Mappy, and Amoeba Jump. None of those games are better than each other. They're just different, and I'm happy totally they all different. exist. I wouldn't yeah. want one not to exist. And they're all Im immensely playable. Like, totally. Like really, really, and really good. the whole good. range. You know, they have, uh, you know, less capability graphics than what they're based on originally, but that does not take away at all from the playability of no, them. No, man. Because they're so well made. And I want I want them all to exist. Yes. I don't want to, you know. And that's the tough thing when you say something's better or worse. Is yeah. like this, there's this attitude of like, oh, this one should be the one that's like, no. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood for, you know, fucking with some cats. Sometimes <laughs> I want to fuck with some spaceships. Yeah. Sometimes I just want to jump. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, jump right into it. Okay, it I, should be fairly self-explanatory. I'm going to read out while, while uh, you I play. I cannot imagine that I will be good at this game. So there, there's a landing pad on the right-hand side. It's a little challenging to see. But once you know what to look for, it's a little, it, little bit easier. It, yeah. And you went way too hard okay. down on that. Still learning. Okay. Uh, from this is the description from the store because I don't have a copy of this game, um, so I don't have the manual and I don't think it's online anywhere. There you go. There you did it. Yay! And I believe the score tells you if you're going too fast. Ah, makes sense. So red is bad, uh, white is fine. So make sure you land when it is white, and you'll be okay. You have to be pixel perfect i believe weird okay okay so you have to land so your legs are inside those that makes um, sense. flashing dots i mean this yeah. is space you have to be precise in the 1960s the united states national uh aeronautics and space administration nasa Launched the Apollo program with the goal of landing a man on the moon before the end of the decade. That's an amazing moment in time. It is. When someone just said, hey, we're going to do this. Why? Because we rock. Because we can. Because we can. Cause... Or it's a challenge, yeah. Because of the Russians. Because of because we want to be better than the we Russians. Wanna, That's, uh, we want to show up the Russians. Welcome right? to America. We want to beat our <laughs> beat our competition. <laughs> you want to motivate an American? You make a competition for them. This goal this was is... first accomplished during the Apollo 11 mission on July 20th, 1969. When yeah, yeah, we read that last one. The Lem was the land lander portion of the Apollo spacecraft and was built by Grun Grumman. Along with the command module, the Lem was launched into space atop a Saturn V rocket. In space, the two craft docked and traveled to the moon. Once in orbit, oh, you don't have to be perfect. No. Oh, you just your leg has to be on there. Okay. I think I'm sort of. I don't want to say I'm figuring it out. But... <laughs> You're not dying as much. Yeah. After four successful landings, an asteroid appears. So I think it's time for the asteroid. Dude, asteroid it up. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that's gonna add some. Uh, whoa. I didn't realize it was just, yeah, that makes sense that it would do that. It bounces off the walls. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, recovery. What the fuck is my thing? Oh, it's there. Go too high. Um, the, cat, the craft separated and the LEM no. ferried two astronauts to the moon surface. When the astronauts com completed their mission to the moon, crap separ craft separated from its landing struts and returned to space to connect with the command module for the trip back to Earth. Whoa, I think you just... Yeah, got... that was... The Lem was a well-built craft that never failed in any mission assigned to it. Whoa. Can you keep its record sounds, untarnished? That sounds like hubris to me, man. Yeah. You shouldn't... Whoa, too fast. Oh. No, you weren't. You just crashed into a wall. Yeah. Uh, game objective. In Lem, you're cast in the role of a lunar excursion module commander about to land your craft on the moon. Your objective is to safely land the Lem on the des designated landing location without crashing... 
the craft into the moon's surface or any asteroids that might be passing through the area. Landing the LEM safely will initiate a new mission to land the craft at a new landing location. You get three crafts for each game and a bonus life is awarded okay, this after three and eight. Ooh, ooh, good one. Yeah, it's dangerous with that right beside it. Yeah. Oh, you Does got a new life. A new life? Fuck yeah. The points are scored by landing Whoa! the LEM. Oh, did you see it changed? No, the, the, look at that. Look at the the meteor. Oh, I didn't I realize that was gonna happen. So I was, oh, I yeah. was freaking out. Oh yeah. Because look, it's it's changes now. So and you like, have, oh, your fuel replenishes each time. Okay. So like, look, it's it's like staying there. Okay. Or is it? See, oh, it, it almost see got it, you. Like it's. Oh, you landed pretty hard. Programming, uh, Filippo Santelo, Santeloco. I think I got it. Filippo Santeloco. Additional programming, Mike Sarna, package design, Brian Ostrowski, oh, manual no. text, Scott Lorenz. We still got one more. Phil Sand said this. you play it very well. Oh, thanks, dude. There you go. I don't From know. the developer I himself. I appreciate it. You're doing pretty good, actually. Oof, this landing's... <laughs> I feel are hard, but <laughs> yeah, are, I'm, I'm I think a, you're just within the threshold. I'm like a reckless... No! Oh, 15600. I think you did really well. The Lander game is also in Star Pass Supercharger, Escape from the Mind. Well, I'm happy we can at least give your game a real showcase. Yeah, make it to the moving uh, asteroids. So what are you scored on? I guess the remaining fuel. I think that, yeah, if you can do it with less fuel, um, you do it well. Oh, God. Does it draw a new one every time? Yeah, every time, even if you die, because it's a new spacecraft. Makes sense. Failed mission. So you get one one pixel leverage each... Or, uh, yeah, totally. And, like, sometimes they're easier. Like that one, right? You could just sort of drop it down. A li yeah, and you don't have to navigate too yeah. far. The meteor is definitely the, the challenge. Yeah. Like, this easy, right? Like, what do you... It's, Yeah, that so, was easy. So there Lots is, of points there. There is some level of, like, it just... And this one doesn't rotate, so you just have to, like... That's good. You just have to avoid it. Oh, one pixel off. You just have to get past it and then thrust it up. Yep. Oof. I'll stand by it. These games are very meditative. Yeah, that's how it they're feels. not. They're, they're they are high action, they're but they're zen. also not. They're like you have to sort of like slowly Slowing. take your time. It's, they're delicate. They're graceful. They require dexterity. I do. I think I think it's gonna start moving now. What do you think? Fairly soon. No, not yet. probably the next one. Yeah. yeah. Oof, that was a little hard. Little hard. A lot of gravity on this move. <laughs> Like, look how fast it goes down. There's so much oh, it's, gravity. It's, it's intense. It's good that it does that because it helps you get past the, like, meteors. It, yeah. It does actually, like, speed That's you up That's probably a bit. why he had to make it s such high gravity. Oh, see, this one's switching now. I'm just going to get past it as quickly yeah. as possible. It was pretty open, actually, at the bottom here. Yeah, this is a... <gasps> oh! None of them fast, are easy, fast. but, like, there are easier ones, for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's scary. Like, the first time that happened, it scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, I think the tolerance has gone down for how fast I can go down. Or I might have hit my leg off of it just barely. Pixel perfect. In reality, on the moon... Oh, oh no, away. sorry, shit, you man. You don't see thrust. Am I dead? Yeah, like you just because you read the thing, you, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, good work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you had that one that n fucking like gave you like four thousand. Yeah, because it was straight down, so I was able to get a lot of points there. In reality, you don't see thrust. Really? You wouldn't see the the rocket come out at all because it wouldn't be burning oxygen. Is that why? Because there's no oxygen to burn. Who's saying that? Is Thrust saying that? That would no. be great. <laughs> oh, just barely. No, Phil Sand, the programmer. 
Nowadays, with Batari Basic DPC Plus, I could program a better version. Better graphics, more sprites. Who knows? Now I'm programming for Atari 8-bit computers. Oh, very cool. Well, we do have... Uh, we are adding the Atari 8-bit uh, computer lineup to our uh, Atari Homebrew Awards this year. So maybe yours will be on that list. It'll be in the big list if you've released one in 2019. Uh, but will it make it to the top 10? Ooh, good job. Kicking ass. Oh, God. So stressful. By the way, if I'm not wrong, you talked about Atari 8-bit home computers homebrew. Yes, I just did. Yes. I am the maintainer of the Atari AA topic for newbies first post oh, no. where you'll find chapter four best homebrews list and a link to download homebrews and a link to the best homebrews packages. Oh, um, so you would be definitely a person to talk to about um, Atari 8-bit homebrews then. Um, I will get in touch with you on the Atari Age forums because we're looking for somebody who maintains um, a very comprehensive list of all the homebrews for the Atari 8-bit um, uh, computer line uh, that is was released in 2019. So if you have a very good list of that, it, like we want complete, we don't want to miss anyone. Um, that would be really, really... Oh, yeah, I don't know what you could have done there. Um, that would be amazing. Um, because we don't want to miss anyone who um, deserves their game to be recognized um, in the Homebrew Awards. At your disposal, I will share the infos I have. Excellent! That's awesome. That will be very, very helpful. So I will get in contact with you. Um, basically, the Homebrew Awards, we get a full list of every game that was released within the year from January 1st to December 31st. Kick my ass. Uh, so, so, I mean, like, the thing that's tough is, like, I'm, like, grinding, you know? Like, like it's, like, it's really interesting because, oh, Because, uh. like, um, I was doing very well, but, like, I've gotten, like, for the last, like, three... I mean, I haven't gotten anything higher than a 1,000. Oh, so it's, like, I see. It's so grindy, because it's, like, you oh, know... Here's I, one. Here's I, a give, giveaway. Well, it's going to be no bigger than a 1,000. Oh, because the fuel usage. Yeah. It's just it's just hard. So it's, it's kind what of... What was that game I was playing where... Oh. Where you... You could get all your points at the beginning. Oh, no, it was... Um, Keystone Capers. The first levels are easy and you get all your points in the first levels you see like you have to let because the scoring a bit the scoring doesn't go up as the levels get harder the scoring stays exactly the same but the levels are getting harder so you get less points as yeah, you go on yeah cuz it's 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 rough cuz like so I just got sixteen twenty, uh, but it's tough because I I think I did like four more levels the yeah, last time, you did. but a I lot. just but I just didn't have oh enough like um. I'm gonna reset. That was terrible. It's, it's it's it it is so. What? No reset. You can just die. And... Filippo. Just what? like. <laughs> no, he may have put he may have put that in the final version. It's pretty quick to die. <laughs> I wonder if it's better to go down as fast as possible and then put like, on... Like, you got, like, 3,000 for that one. Yeah. Which good. is just really good. I I just can't seem to, like, nail the, like, things. Because, yeah, if you nail, like, the stuff at the beginning... Because I got nothing... 1,000 for that? That's the weird thing. Like, I got nothing but 1,000 for, like, all of mine. Okay. Three. Wow, that scales really differently. It's really interesting. It's like a logarithmic scale of points. It feels like almost like style too. Like if unfortunately you... no reset. <laughs> what did he say after that? It says uh, unfortunately no reset. The screen uh, bounced, so I decided to remove it. Oh. For this game, it's not the end of the world. No, it's, it's a stretch. very quick manual reset of death. If you just, yeah, if you just die, it's all... You can get 5,000. That makes... Good luck. Maybe on the first level, See, like, it's straight with down. With ones like this, you could totally... 
what I get there? A three? Yeah. Kick Nail it, right? Cool. It's a really interesting. I like. I love it in games when there's a level of like uh, chance too, right? Where like. Damn it! Because in theory, you could get like three in a row that are just so easy, and then what yeah. you have fifteen hundred points. Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. really hilarious. <laughs> or you could like play like fifteen levels. <laughs> yeah, and get one, 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 one. It's like it's, it's the grindy side of it, right? But. But also, that's part of the game. Is the the cleaner the landing, the better the yep. points. It just and makes it, be. it makes sense. That's a thousand for sure. Eight hundred. Ah, 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 ah. Especially when when you get to these levels, it's just it's, it just is tricky. See, yeah. two thousand nailing it, man. Yeah, you just got to get down there. Ah. <laughs> yeah, man. This is where these meteors are. Random. Are their own thing. This is a easier one. There's no such thing as easy, though. I wonder if it, you use less fuel if you just let gravity take you right down and and just go f and then crank up the fuel, or if you slowly let yourself down. I think you, it's probably a slow glide, right? Because it's just physics. It's yeah. like to slowly just. Like, are they evenly matched, the fuel and gravity? I mean. Who knows? I mean, what is it like? It's harder to stop something than it is to like slowly glide into something. Yeah. Ooh, the platform is a little bit off. He says, <laughs> I don't know. He says, I don't know what happens if you make more than nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. We'll never know on this show. <laughs> yeah, well, someone out there might. Or you could hack it and see what happens. Yeah. I, I'm guessing it doesn't get harder than this. No. I, I think... Or does it get harder than this? I don't think ah! so, but I, but this is fairly hard, man, because, like, there are just some levels that are just very difficult to beat, right? And there's some that are fairly yeah. easy, so it's just random. Um, and as soon as this guy's rotating, right, there, were, there was one where you, like, instantly died because it just smashed into you yeah it was there right away and then there's somewhere like you are Lots about yeah or you're boxed in right like here it's like you just get like drifted to yes yeah, just random now okay so once you're up to this level it's about to you're yeah see like that's where it's just random like it's yep. it's because because it, sometimes they go up sometimes they go down yeah I'm pretty happy with that score. I think I could do yeah. better, but um, I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely. Should we move on? Yeah. So this is a uh, great, great fun game. Um, lots of randomness, which is nice in a video game where you don't know what you're going to get. But there's always some way to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for uh, uh, being here while we played it. Just random. 265. Oh, no. He made, oh, he made a mistake. It's 26,000. <laughs> that would be... 28,800. Yeah, 26... 266,000 would be would incredible. Be like, that would be like Olympics. So great. Uh, lots of fun. Great game. I would say an improvement on like the other one that we saw. I mean, it's hard to know. That other one had angles in it, in it like the times yeah. and stuff. I mean... You could put in the times. You can make different landing pads. That one also zoomed in. So there, there you could make... Uh, yeah, great translation. Can, oh, yeah. Like, really. 2,600, yeah. Okay. I'm going to hold down the button. Got it. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. Hey, Box. we got our voice back. Okay, which one are we doing now? Snipers? Snipers. Ooh. Which one's that? It's... Delta Force Soka sniper. Ban or oh that Delta Force. There we go. Delta Force Sokaban is made by the same person who made this. Oh, Boulder sick! Dash. Um, Andrew Davy, and it's his new game that oh. he's working on, and he has not play, made a new game in a long time. Oh I think maybe us featuring his other game kind of made him perk up a little bit. Um, so he's making a Sokaban game. That's great. You um he started with the engine of Boulder Dash. Sokoban is the box moving game. Yeah. Where you move boxes to where they're supposed to be in the least amount of moves. So he's he's adapted the Boulder Dash engine to work. Um but unfortunately his first public release build doesn't work on the um the cartridge, the har harmony cart. 
um, Harmony Encore cart. It does work on the Uno cart, but my Uno cart's in flux right now. This um, takes. Yeah, so I may be able to do that next show. He probably release a newer version, but I did want to feature it. Okay. It just didn't quite make it. That's okay. Okay, so let's load this up. Uh, which one? Uh, I think it's the second one. You can hold down the button on it. No, that's just the basic. That's the binary. Yep, Yay. go for it. Oh, why is Lem up there? Still, I thought I switched it. There we go. Delta Force Sniper. S-F-O-D Delta Sniper that's Crosshairs. Actually, I mean, it's... You already have a point. <laughs> Andrew's Sokoban game is coming along nicely. It is. It's, See, it's going to be done. It colors very soon. are great. Uh, yeah. Except the that blue is great. sketchy, right? Like, see that what I mean? Good. Like, it's interesting. It's that the blue and bad. purple is like slightly because you see green is great, yellow's great, red's great. But see, this is the one that's a little dicey. Like, look at that purple, right? Yeah. It's, it's really the purple is tricky, and purple here and is blue. slightly. It's right in that purple blue thing because everything else is great. Like, yeah. but you can see here's a bit. Uh, but the yellow's great. Yellow's really good. That's what they're complaining. Well, white was what they're complaining about. White is pretty nice. There. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is made by Fort Apocalypse. <laughs> yes. No real name uh, that I can find. First posted January 1st, 2000. If I want to go to a fort, I want the Apocalypse Fort. Apocalypse Fort. You know you're in good hands if they've named their fort Fort Apocalypse. This build is from January 3rd, 2008. The size is 4K. Um, I don't know if I read out how big the last one was. Um, 16K. Uh, it, other games made by uh, Fort Apocalypse. Deep Sea Explorer, Delta Force Sniper, Double Click Draw, Happy Bear Smackdown, <laughs> Happy <laughs> Easter, Insane Painter, School Bus, Titan Diamonds, UFO Traffic, Ultimate Indy 500, and Water Skier. I wouldn't expect anything else from Fort Apocalypse. Yeah. Happy Bear Smackdown, of course. Oh, yeah, Makes man. sense. Uh, fully functioning game. Very loosely based on the description of the 1st Special Forces Operation Detachment Delta, a.k.a. Delta Force Snipers. As described in the bottom of page 116 inside Delta Force by Eric L. Hanley. <laughs> Great book, by the way. So this is based off Whoa. of real sniper training. training or something. Interesting, okay. Move the target off the screen to view the four sides of the building that you're sniping. Oh. White is the front, red is the left, or the sniper's right. Black is the back of the building, green is the building's right, or the sniper's left. I'm scared. This sounds like it's going to be... Intense. Yeah. You must quickly find the target, randomly placed on one of the sides, and shoot it, which is not easy. If you don't shoot the target in time, the target moves, and your life meter decrements. Ooh. This symbolizes the amount of time you have left to terminate the target. If you shoot two targets, you get to level two, four for level four, etc. Targets move more quickly in later levels. It only makes sense. Yep. You can also, you can also move, you also can move and then press the button to move more quickly. Unless your target is locked on and then the fire button is only for firing. It's a difficult game. Let me know what you think. Thanks to Michael for the <laughs> randomization one. code. Oh, that's a, quite a combo. <laughs> green and slightly lighter green. There are things called contrasting colors <laughs> That's and, gone. and neighboring colors. This is totally random. Right. <laughs> wow. We would we would call those neighboring colors. Well, it's a good screensaver. Um, okay, and he adds on, also window blinks before the target appears, giving you some sense that you have time to shoot it. There are two strategies I've learned so far. The impatient strategy, just keep using the button to move quickly and shoot as quickly as you can. This is tough. Or the patient strategy, Wait on a side of the building for the target to appear. This may be the best in later levels. Okay. Level one. You can only you can shoot the target in the head or the body. Mm -hmm. Level two. You can only shoot the target in the head. Oh. Level three. You only have one bullet to shoot each target. You can only shoot a target in the head as well. Level four. Wind. You're fighting the elements. Try to stay steady your hand. You can only shoot the target in the head. You know, one thing I like about Call of Duty sniping is yep. that if you shoot in the body, it takes two hits, and the head takes one, which is a cool mechanic uh -huh. for that. Because it's like, you know... Because then you feel like when you get a hit, it's like, oh, I've, now I, and I don't have to be as precise. Yes. Yeah, because he's not going to run away when he's hitting the body, probably. No. Much. Level five, hand is unsteady due to heartbeat. Can only oh, shoot oh. the target in the head. Okay. Level six, there's wind and a heartbeat. 
You can only shoot the target in the head. Level 7. There's wind, heartbeat. You only have one bullet to shoot each target, and you can only shoot the target in the head. I think we're lucky if we get to level 7. <laughs> I don't think it increases because I think that is the level. I think you select it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll start, first start with level 1. Should we just should we hopefully give it a go and see? Yeah, that's it. That's... Oh, God. Okay. Reset. Let's do it. Shoot him! Body or head you can shoot. Oh, you missed him. He's coming back. There you go. You got him. 50 points. Now remember, there's four sides of the building. There he is. Did I miss got him? him? Got him? Good. Yep. 200. I think you got... Oh, your life meter just went down. Got him. Oh, it went back up. Awesome. So you can get it back. Ah. Got Did points. I miss him? You got points. No, you got him. Bam, right in the... I don't know what that means, the two different sounds. It never explained the two different sounds in the instructions. Because you are you are getting points. Oh, you missed. Oh, missed again. Yeah, it's just getting harder. Oh, you're like Where's my meter. people? Where is he? There he is. Oh, it goes right back up to full. Okay, okay, that's good. Fuck. Oh, no! no! Nice. I think I think the more precise you are, the better, too. Like, I, th I think I'm barely, you know, I'm sort of, like, grazing these guys. Mm. Oh, God. Come on. Does he stay on the same side? No, he, he left. Took too long to find him. Ah. So I think he stays in I one have, part of the building for a while. I need to just shoot him. Oh, oh no. I think this might be my death, James. Maybe. Oh, you're down to like one or two life left. Oh, fuck. You do get multiple bullets. You can like... Okay. There, you're back so up again. Something. Phil Sand says, nice. Yeah, very, very simple. Um, so it has it, basically it, one screen, and they represent the buildings by just changing the background color of the play field. Um, one uh, player character for the enemy, and I'm guessing another player character for your crosshairs. Ah. Oh, he's still there. Oh. Oh, another shot. Oh, I gotta, just, I gotta just, got him. I gotta just be more like, I just just do it. Like, I... I it, nice. Just overthinking it. I wonder what that... I think that's when I just nail it, you know? Yeah. Like, you got him immediately. Oh, that might be it. How long it takes for you to get him. And if you got him right away, I think that's big points. And that's what so. the sound is. It's like you got him in first shot, first appearance. When your health is full. I think that also plays a factor into it as well. <laughs> yeah, obviously he's gonna run away. Like, why would you kick around? Oh, missed, just barely missed him. Yeah, it's like, oh, somebody's shooting. Somebody shot out the window. Like, really? Oh. This might Gee. be the death of me, James. I think so. Oh no! Oh, there he is! Oh, oh you just got him. Oh. You were able to get two shots off before he disappeared, so he doesn't run away right away. Oh, you almost got big points there. Oh. Nice. Oh. There. Yep, it is. It's when you have full health and you haven't missed anyone, and then you shoot the guy again. That's when you get uh, that sound. That means you're like a... Just missed him, man. Perfect sniper. Ugh. I think after this one, we're going to go to... Your hand is unsteady due to your heartbeat. And you, only and you have to shoot him in the head. We won't go to the one bullet yet. Because that one seems a little bit of an increase. But I think an issue with this is that it doesn't get harder. It doesn't seem to be getting harder. 
does it? No, it's very forgiving. It's just honesty. the same over and over I again. I can see why he built like quite a few different levels. Yeah. The concept's really good. Especially the the multiple sides of the building you have to go for. I like guess not just a one screen game. Even though it appears it's a one screen game, it's not really a one screen game. Oh, Tanya's joined us. Hey, Tanya. Welcome. I'm currently sniping people. <laughs> this is uh, Twitch Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, not a lot of depth to the game. Uh, yeah. Maybe when we start playing I with... I think we got to switch over to something a bit harder. Yeah. Oh, see, I, you just... Uh... I'm going to let you either get the guy, next guy or you die. I want to see what happens when you die because you're about to. There no. we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to play version 5, which is Heartbeat. Um, and you have to get him in the head. Do you want to reset? How do you. Oh, so you I just hit reset and it'll do yep. it. It'll, it'll start. Game reset. Cool. Oh my god. Nightmare. Okay, so this is. Whoa. Got him. Oh, there's a little bit of, like... Oh, got him. I think I got him? Yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah. I feel like this is, like... This is not, like, a heartbeat. This is, like, a drunk sniper. <laughs> this is someone who's, like, had a one or two too many drinks. Because it's quite... Oh, my God. It's quite, man quite the maneuver. Oh my god. I guess there's no downside to spamming bullets. Actually. Uh, I don't think it disappears. Like, that's that's one of the things, okay, if we really them. wanted to cheese this shit, you could just get generally in the direction and then just... Shotgun sniper. Or automatic sniper. Yeah. This is the... Although it just doesn't seem as... Uh, I don't know... That's right. It's classy. It's, it's, there you go. It's, yeah, you can. You can just go bam, 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 bam. And especially because it's kind of ro it's kind of roaming up and down. It's actually almost an advantage. It it would be in this case. Get like seconds to. Got him. Yeah, you have to like jam. You have to sort of be like. Like two bullets is pretty good. Yeah. Like... Yeah. I I would have had a reload time maybe put in so that you can't do that because yeah not... you can you can just shh. especially in this mode yeah you want a real challenge number seven <laughs> yes the wind the og sniper bad, award actually. he's doing very well did I miss that guy? Wow. Ha ha ha. See, if you wanted to make this game super intense, yeah. you would have them walking and moving. Ooh, yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. They would move so they kind of come in and out. So you'd have to like predict where they're going to be and then they like disappear. So they're like moving and then at a certain point they'll flash somewhere else. Yeah. That would be intense because then you wouldn't need as much like... Because right now the thing is is that we, the, the sniper, are like the one that's like crazy. It's like we're... <laughs> bullets are just going everywhere. But like they're very stationary. So, yes. like, when they said move, I thought it would be more like they start, like, physically moving. But actually, they mean more like just teleport from, like... <laughs> Teleporting from one side. And sort of, of hang out perfectly at the window. And that would be really exciting because, like, whenever you're sniping in games, like, um, next-gen console type stuff, yeah. half the challenge is, is figuring out the movement of the guys because they're often walking from place to place. So you have to kind of line your scope where they're going to end up and then yes. pull it right when they enter it's almost like playing tennis where it's like you have to hit the ball at the right time like it's, it's more about coordination and, and understanding like when both things collide at once yeah and these guys don't seem to care that i'm shooting out their windows yeah like bullets are whizzing by them they because that like... would be the that would be the next level of like 
of, of challenge. Yeah, if they made the windows bigger and the guys bigger and they're moving around from room to room, like, like walking in and out of the room. Yeah, so it's like... Like, think of Spies in the Night. Yeah. That game where, where that guy's actually walking and you have to avoid the bullets, except you're on the other side now shooting the guy's movie. And they, like, disappear and then they reappear and from, like, you know, when they go behind the bars. Yep. That would be really cool. Author last visited in 2016. It would be nice if he improved a lot of potential. Yeah, there's yeah, a hell lot yeah. of... Also, I've never seen a sniping game for, like, uh, 2600 before. It's no. very cool. Very cool concept. And I like the scalability of, like, the different seven settings, right? Some of those are very scalable and some of them oh, are... Oh, yeah. Like, this one's good, but it's a constant movement. It would be better, like, if it slowed down and sped up based on what you've been doing. Absolutely. Like, if you've been shooting like this, it should be, like, going crazy and and getting bigger and yeah, punishing just, you. So right? that way it's, like... But if you're calm, you take one shot, it, it calms down, too. And you could also do different modes, right? Like, you could have a time limit. Like for like yes. five minutes and see how many points you could get in five minutes, because yes. yes. that way would really like, um, uh, you know, it would also feel like there's a sort of a finish, because yeah. like at the moment it just feels like we it's can... never ending. Yeah, and it's and it's. I think not... you should graduate. Each of these levels should be the game. Yeah. Not a separate games like level one is easier. Okay, now you're in the wind level. Totally. Okay, now you've made it to this level. Yeah. And maybe you have a kill count. Like, you have to kill, like, 10 people or 15 people in, like, a time limit. Yeah. And then you can, like, uh, get more points. So you're going to be on the hard the, one. Let's... You get one bullet, has to be a headshot, there's wind, and there's heartbeat. Sounds fun. Let's do this. <laughs> Good job. No. Oh, what? Oh, you missed him. Yeah, rip. You... Oh, you're dead if you don't shoot, shoot him in the head. That's okay. Now that's this is where it's an issue for like. Scum Software says, "Oh, you guys played Lamb, man. I totally missed it. He helped with getting Egg Ventures movement code up and running. Yeah, he was. Uh, oh, oh, he's God. still here. Scum Software, he's right above you. Hey, this is a comment right above you. Um, yeah, we uh, played that last. Very. Oh, was that? Well, it's <laughs> tough, man. Let, let's let me. There's no mistakes, I guess. Oh, level seven. Yay! First one. Fuck yeah! Yeah. So you have to really make sure you get them. like, <laughs> like that was like a good as good as I could do. Like you yeah. know, like that was pretty pretty much <laughs> like got one. It was like that. Like I don't know. Like the the things sporadically moving around. Like <laughs> you see what I mean? Like it's like over. that's where I was like I. It feels like I I did about as well as I could do. I want to try just with the headshots. That's too hard. Well, at that point, it's like the difference between me nailing One it and bullet. not okay. almost feels like um, like random. Yeah. So this is one bullet has to be headshot. So uh, this, this is, is a bit better. Oh, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> because you have to be very careful. This is the mode to play. Yeah. I think. It is, because you can't waste bullets. You're like, okay, I gotta get them. And you're not, like, you're not being punished with your sort of controls. Yeah. Yeah, this is a much, much better game. That's like, the other one is like that expert level in Tetris, where it's just like... <laughs> and you're, you're having to just, oh, yeah. you know... I don't even know how those high level Tetris players do it. Like you watch them instinct. and it's and it's just like it's like all pure instinct. It's crazy watching them. It's like that's where anything at a high level is cool to watch. Almost doesn't matter. Like when you watch those people who do like those um uh uh like cup games where oh, they're like yeah. stacks. I can't even and, see what they're doing. And they're like, like oh, stacked. It's like whoa. Oh, I'm dead. Or like build like a little thing. And, like, Wow. Okay, that's that's the mode to play. Cool. Try that one. Let's see how I do. You, you're you're more precise. You're being very careful. I think the time hard. limit is a bit. Oh, there you go. You got a chance now. Time limit's a, a bit, bit harsh. 
Oh, lucky. Right on. Ah, over, oh. overthought it. Oh, you can't make mistakes. Does someone code in Rust here? I've heard of that language. Oh, did you mess? Off by a pixel. <laughs> Rip. Oh, you can go now. With DPC plus multicolor single line sprites could be made. What could be made? Oh God! It's... Yes, and civilians, people with life jackets. You need a headshot, and people who will shoot after you for some after some time. Yes. So you got to run away to another building, other side of the building, if they're shooting at you too. I'm sort of. And and civilians in a different color. That would be that would add so much to the game. This this game could be elevated really really high absolutely and and like we said the graduated um levels of starts off easy and then you get the heartbeat and the wind oh you, there you go this is a much better much more uh intense game right yeah it's where more you get fun. one it's... shot they're all in the same plane <laughs> yeah it's a bit he could have put something in there where it's like, no, it can't be on the same plane. Choose another one. Oh. oh. Rip. It's good stuff, though. Um, I, th I, That's why we have this show. Yeah. We can, we can test these and add suggestions oh God, and man. make their games better and, and have feedback. The, the, from the movement people. to me would be just, it would be a f much more fun game because yeah. right now I feel like I'm like just moving to a yes. target but if, the, if they were moving coming then in and it's... out of windows and you don't know if they're bad or good and you if they're your targets like shoot the guy in red that's right, right. or and, shoot the guy in blue and this you turn. find them and then you have to sort of line up to a point and have them walk into the point yeah. and hit like to me that would be uh, just another level or he stays for a second or just keeps walking across and you have to get him when he's in the window or you miss him. And that yeah. would be neat because rather than teleporting, it yeah. would be like you would find him, but then maybe he could walk left, he could walk right, stairs. he could go. So you yeah. have to like, once you find them, you then have to sort of predict where they might go. Yeah, yeah. But that, uh, you know, it is a good start and it's it's not bad. It's, not it's bad got some good all. stuff. Hold the button. Got it. Uh, so it looks like just the cart and the manual won out in the poll with 41.7%, wow. which I I guessed that it would be that way because I think just carts sell the most because they're, you get the game, but they're at a reasonable price as totally. well. Totally. 25 to $30 in the Atari Age store. Yeah. So you get the best of both worlds. I mean, that's, I think, how they usually sell in the Atari Age store. They have a limited time. They print X boxes, and when they run out of boxes, then they sell it with the cart just by itself. So we're gonna. I know, I know. There's a lot of like, modern game developers who've gotten a lot of trouble by like they have like their deluxe packs with like you will get merchandise right. with, and then they like get the merchandise and it's like oh this was not at all as good as what I thought because it's like it's not you, what I was promised. No, so like I think I think at the end of the day, a lot of people have been burnt. So I think it's. People are more right. excited to just just give me the card because like all that other stuff is it's not hit and miss. You just don't yeah. know. Yeah. Which one? So which one is Do Re Mi? Do Re Mi by VHZC. Ooh. Almost rhymes well. That's exciting, man. Okay, so is it yeah. the the first one? The first one. He originally Here. called it Music Attack, but okay. he renamed it to Do Re Mi, which I. It's uh, just the bin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's the title screen. <clears throat> VH said C, 2019. So this was first posted on, um, like, days ago on the 18th. And this build is from... <laughs> the F-76 canvas bag? Yeah, that was, yeah, that's that was what he's exactly referencing. what I was referencing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this uh. build is from uh, Sunday, uh, three days ago. It's a 4K game. Other games he's made, Do Re Mi, Draco... Night Guy in Low Res World, Low Res Racer, Ninja Guy, Peril, and Roach in Space. Damn. And you can get this. Um, we got ourselves a little treble clef. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able, able to eventually get this in the Atari Age forms, but right now this version is only available in 
the Facebook group called Retro Game. It's a Spanish Facebook group. <laughs> yeah. Do you go deep into the internet for this oh, show? Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it has to be said that uh, doing a treble clef in pixels <laughs> is <challenging>. impressive. <laughs> I'm imp- it it's very recognizable, and it's even got an outline. Right. I remember in music school having to just like learn how to draw treble claps. Oh, I was like, oh, I, I hate it so much. Yes. I had to practice doing they are, it. They are challenging. And I got graded on that stuff too. Horrible. Spam. Very spammy. And then like all the bass clap instruments, you're like, yeah, ah, you yeah, bastards. Treble, treble you got clap. it so easy. Yeah, treble clap's much easier to draw. <laughs> oh, I find I find bass clap easier because you just go look, look, look. but oh, treble clap what, is oh, like that, yeah, so okay. Yeah. <laughs> bass clap is like this tiny little like C. Yeah, that's yeah, all that's it is. Right. Double dot versus this thing is like a whole. Yeah. yeah, but calligraphy is not really in the skills that millennials have anymore. I'm just I gonna don't s- even think that even exists anymore. Yeah, I think they dropped that a couple of years ago. I'm not, I had to do uh, cal- like uh, what is it cursive writing. Yes. Um, I don't think they teach that anymore. Nobody does. De- nobody does it except for their signature. So everybody's signature is going to somehow. Uh, doctors have kept the yeah. legacy. Well, they going. get a lot of training. <laughs> so VHZC is in the chat with us right now. This is a um, kind of Twitch game, quick reaction game. Um, so I think you could just jump right into it. Just catch the notes as they come. You don't. Oh, so like as soon as they come into the box? Yes. As soon as they, like immediately. Oh, I see. I got to move the thing. Okay, yeah. I think I got an idea. So I think it's pretty quiet. Whoa, okay. Oh, God. And it plays a little note. Uh, given it, given a new Whoa. chance to an okay. old project. In fact, it's based on my first attempt to create a game for the 2600 a year ago. It is a really simple, minimalistic game where you have to intercept the music notes before they reach the center of the screen. Oh the God. only objective is to try to make more points. Just that. You have a max of three lives. You can recover one life if you have ten consecutive consecutives without a lost life. Oh my Currently, uh, the game is a 2K ROM, but it's 4K now. Um, but I think it'll be a 4K at the end. Um, so he, originally it was called... What did I just say? No. Music oh. Attack. Music Attack was it was originally called. And then he changed the name to, briefly to Melody, but then changed it to Do Re Mi after realizing the Atari Age boards are called Melody boards. Um, so he messaged me and said... Um, it's a minimalistic 4K reaction game, so I have no plans for extra features, but I'm open, open for suggestions. The mechanic is quite simple. Just intercept the notes before they reach the center of the screen. Positioning of the notes is random, so there's no pattern. Just need to concentrate and quick reflection, uh, reflexes. The goal of the game is to get a high score. You have a maximum of three lives. We have less than three and get a 15 chain. Oh, you upped it to 15. You recover a life. Uh, there is a f- there are four bonuses. If you get a 10 chain, then an icon will appear in the bottom left of the screen and 25 points will be added to the score. There we go. If you get a 25 chain, then the two icons will appear in the bottom left of the screen and 50 points will be added to the score. If you get 50 chain, then three icons and 100 points will be added to the score. If you get 99, then 1,000 will be added to the score and the bonus counter will be reset. So we're trying to get chains and, of course, a high score. So you got one musical note, two musical oh, notes. That's the best I've been able to do, man. Fuck me. Three this points. Is, just you wait, James. <laughs> this shit is... Quick and intense. Oh, eh? my God. It's There's no... And there's no... Um, oh, he's right. It's just reflexes. Vault Assault with music. Yeah. Uh, cosmic Art. Arc Meteors. Yeah. There's many games that have been built on this style of play were you playing with the paddle that other game uh, uh that last week oh uh, i think so okay so where they're coming down the hallways. 200 we got to keep this score because i'm not this might be this is so far the best i've been able to manage oh you got all the multipliers just you time. wait That's man funny. like oh <laughs> my god it's the one from the left oh. 303 oh god come on and they come at different oh, my speeds. god and it's like and they seem to slow up in speed. 
Yeah, Speed some are just relentlessly down. fast. Oh my god. You're just making it. Oh my god. Oh, oh four oh. away. Still got one more life. Wow. This is like easily the best I've done. Like everything else was fifty, James. <laughs> so you're on a good you're on a good streak. You'll probably crush it, cause like I don't know. Oh. How come you keep on going? You get extra I think lives, I, I think I just yeah, like I barely get like enough to keep going. Is how it goes. Oh, I see. You still have. Oh, oh my no, God. that was a bad mistake. At first, I was like, "This game's impossible." Oh. Oh, I see. It's really generous with the lives, actually. Okay, good. Because you just got back up to three lives. And you're oh. back up to three lives again. Oh my god, okay. So it's possible. Thank god, okay, that's good design, because like... <laughs> I don't know, it might be too generous. I'm not going to lie, like, it's pretty... Or maybe just really good at it. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but like, it, like, like, I was getting just 50 the first time, right? Oh, uh, okay. I will be less generous, VHZC says. It's probably a good idea, man. So 695... Holy shit. <laughs> Just you wait, James. Intense, Get ready eh? for this shit. Oops. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, because once you get a good combo, you're back up to three. Yeah. concentration for this shit man yep for sure yeah you can't really talk or do anything and it's just there's some that are just <laughs> so much harder than others because some are so fast well actually the ones on the sides are faster than the ones on the top and That's bottom correct. due to well, the sometimes. scaling of pixels I don't the know. one from the left i notice is fastest See, the left is the is the one that fucks you up. The, the right isn't terrible too. Okay. I like musically we're in this is not resembling a song anymore. <laughs> no, we're off the scale. Yeah, now we're like off pitch almost. <laughs> this is like uh, when Hal oh, dies and streak. starts to slowly <laughs> lose the... It's so good. Oh, crushing it, dude. And you got some decent life, too. What we've learned is James's reflexes are better than mine, <laughs> for sure. It does make sense though, because you're much better at like fast action stuff. Yeah. For sure. Random song now. <laughs> Well, at least it's not doing the ABC song over and over. Again. Now we're that would make now me crazy. it's Ornette Coleman song. Yes, it's crazy. <laughs> Getting into right. oh, it's back to the ABC okay, song. Okay, we're back. Because I guess it's looped around. My eyes are getting watery. I know this is like you not... can't blink. You can't. You can't do anything. Oh, dude, you're crushing it. Cause like. Now, uh, look at your points. What? Because you, <laughs> 49, you, you wrapped around and you were in like fucking like <laughs> uncharted territory because you wrapped up to a hundred. <sighs> destroyed it, man. Oh my God. My eyes. Oh, my that's, eyes that's the, are watering. That's whole. Let me see if I can. Uh, 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 the screen it. ratio made me do it that way. That's what I thought because the sides are, um, are faster because pixels. 
there's not as many pixels uh, horizontally as they're vertically, so you should be able to either slow down the sides or speed up the top and bottom. But it's not bad to have those sides as faster ones. It's kind of kind of neat. See, I, nowhere near my tens of thousands. No, man. <laughs> it's all, it, but the streaks are good. Like having those super mega bonuses for having a long streak. So I like, I really like the scoring because you're either really small or you're mega, mega. See, like I don't, I find this game very hard. Yeah. <laughs> I do, man. I, I think it's my reflexes are not this not as good like hands down yeah. like, it's just a skill thing because like i struggle with this for sure and this is uh, it's all this game is is reflex there's nothing else to it yeah like yeah. like there was a little bug a bonus counter i didn't reboot. see this would be a cool game to like test people's reflexes on because honestly yeah, really like you can game. really that's all this is is like how f yeah this is my one of my favorite parts of Cosmic Arc. It's an old game um, from the 80s that it pretty much was this. Um, and you're a ship in the middle and there's asteroids coming at you from all four angles and you just, you do exactly this. But I think I can maintain a big scoring while uh, the three nut down notes see, like, are lit. Oh, see, like, I, like 600 is probably maybe the best I'll be able to do. Yeah. Like I, I find this to be a hard game. Can't. Ah. Just die. Okay. One more game because my eyes, I don't think, could take two more. Yeah, it's. I'm going to die. Actually, it doesn't matter because you can build back your. Lives. Hell yeah, man. You just want to keep pushing forward. So dying is not, not an end. Yeah, there's a reason why <laughs> why I like very calculated <laughs> games. <laughs> why I'm a chess player and That's not right. uh, not a pong professional pong player. <laughs> Cuz I just don't I, clearly I don't have the reflexes. Like oh you can just the, what a difference. Hey? You can yeah. you can very like measurably see the difference. And you can even figure out reaction time instantly like how fast does the person bring it to the other side before it hits like how much uh time is left you could even build that into the game if you wanted to it's like oh what's your best reaction time to a, a note coming on the screen or average reaction time. And that's where, like, games are very cool because there is lit such a thing as skill, right? It's just, there is a skill. Oh. It's like, um, um, uh, you know, like uh, playing sports, right? Oh God, you cross-train because, like, yeah. physically there is there is such a thing as, like, you know, if you can run faster than Who's someone, you're going to do better. Like, if yep. your reaction time is faster... Yep, take off time off the mark. And you think about professional gamers, that's probably something that they have... <laughs> Their reaction time is just a lot faster. Oh, um, yeah. And that's also where, like, you know... Because, yeah, this is... It's, it's almost a cool test, this one, hey? Because it's just... It it's so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> the difference. I find I just zone out and not looking at the screen. I'm kind of looking at just patterns of the screen. Yeah. Concentrating on left, right, up, down. But I was always terrible at sports. Oh. What? Um, Why is my... It's only 278. I did a huge streak there. Did I loop around? What is happening with the score? Can you watch the score? Yeah. When I do a really long streak and I'm up at three notes? Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll just watch that. I think there's a... If I can get there. My pixel coming to be a good cat or a bad cat. 
<laughs> I think that's a bad cat's response, man. Uh, yeah, when he's meowing, he's, he's got he's got ideas. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna get on your lap while uh -oh, you're trying to play. Uh oh, Pixel. Yeah. Whoa, buddy. Hi. 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 What are we? Oh God, this is called the cat uh, uh, cat challenge. The cat challenge. Oh, Pixel, why do you want to If you, if, if, if you think the crazy uh, 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 VH said notes game is hard, it's extra hard with a Pixel trying to, uh, trying to do its thing. There's also such thing as plateauing when you're playing. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, you did really well, and then, no, you're done. Well, what 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 happened in that one was that you got a really streak. you got a, a a great streak, and then it just logarithmically just popped. Damn it! Because I think you were getting like a thousand each hit. Oh, yeah. At a certain point, and so like, I think I maintain a big scoring while the three notes are lit. I think that was it. Let's let's go back to the. Um, don't eat that. Hold on, let me see if I can do better than 600. Like, I'll see if I can actually, like... Sure. I don't think I w I'll be able to, but... Because I think he said something about a thousand points once... Oh, if you get... Oh, if you get 99, then a thousand will be added to the score. And the bonus counter will be reset. So you should only be getting a thousand... If yeah, you get this a game, nine, you have to get the streaks, right? Like, yeah. It's a, tw a 10 chain, 25, 50 chain. Because you and only a get one if you're not chained, right? So, like, I you think, could. I think it was just continually adding the thousand points over and over again. Yeah, it, to my score. it was. It was. And that's where it was a problem. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be a one time bonus. And that that's what would happen. <laughs> that's that's. I got sense. it many, many times over to get tens of thousands of points. Which was very nice. Yeah, you know. Maybe gonna. That's add, called winning. Like. Yeah. I mean, add another, add another level of bonus. Maybe, maybe make a a two hundred note streak and get five thousand points or something. I don't know how many notes I got in the. You row, got a hundred. But... You you wrapped around a hundred and then that yeah. was it. So like I don't know how many that was. Yeah, it was a lot. Oh, this. Well, you can't. But uh, I'll show you. It's how not it. as good. It's it's a little yellowed the white it's just so hard because it's like um, fighting all well, like these the, colors the hue is not the way to adjust that stuff because <laughs> no, hue just changes you just you know okay oh started again maybe i'll main we'll maintain it with less points i'll correct it okay but that's why we we play test it's these right. games why are you eating a very bad cat? I would love eating for the people at home peanuts. to try this out and find out if you're a James or an Erlen <laughs> with this game. It's cause, it's, cause it's, it's intense. It's it it's like I think it's the right level of hard. Oh yeah. It's definitely the right level hard because I'm able to do fairly well. Not all the time though. I think the notes are coming in at a oh, like, good uh, speed, though. Like, it's, like, there's, uh, my, uh, <laughs> it just destroys your brain, eh? Well, I just, I just don't have the reaction time. What is that line up at the top of the screen? Oh, it's, it kind of just boxes in the screen, I see, because there's one in the bottom right as well. I'm guessing those are done by playfield, and the green bars in the bottom right are done by playfield. And then the notes on the left are a triplicate player. Oh, is this done in basic? Well, the morale killing too, because once you're on a good streak, the only way to like get points in this game is to have some kind of streak. Yeah. So like, if you, you have to get up you, there. And the tough thing is, is like you could get like. <sighs> You could be like twenty points, and like that's nothing. You have nothing. The, you get nothing for twenty like, points. Like so, it's like if you just keep dying and repeating. <laughs> oh my god! It is a logarithmic oh. kind of scoring game, <laughs> and defeating. So defeating. This is bringing but me back to like middle school basketball. 
but it does it is a game that you do want to go back to it's not yeah. a like it's not a like i want to give up I guess 600 is a respectable score that oh, I managed yeah. to get. So, like, at least I was able to get a respectable one. You got a bunch of streaks to get 600, that's for sure. Yeah, I just marathoned for a long time. I just managed to stay alive. Over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. I never I never did, like, really great marathon-wise. I just, like, grinded it. What do you think about the extra lives that it gives you? I think that's nice because it's... I mean, I... Like, I, I actually haven't been able to play this game longer than, like, maybe a minute or 30 true. seconds. So, for me, it's essential. I, this is unplayable. <laughs> yeah, it would be... But for you, it's it's a different thing because your 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 skill is higher. So, it's, it's, so it definitely is an, a difficult one because you want to yeah. appeal to... Because to, I, I think I probably don't have, you know... I, I, I certainly don't have terrible reflexes. So, like, if someone was worse than me, then, like, complete rip. Let's watch the score now. Oh, yeah, now you're just crushing 1,000 each time, right? <laughs> it's 1,000 each time. Yeah. Oh, Is it wrapped okay. around? So, yeah, yeah. you're just... You're... So, see, it's 17,000, <laughs> right? Right. As soon as you broke 100, it was 1,000 every And I time. bet it stops counting when it gets to 255, and then it goes to zero again and starts slow. Yeah. Because it can't count higher than that, and there's no check to stop it. Very, very cool. Yes, maybe I will maintain it with less points. I will correct it. Okay. Oh, you got to do that. It yeah, feels, yeah. That's for sure a bug. Um, yeah. Because the other thing that's interesting about that is that you were at, before that streak, you were at about 700. Yeah. So what's interesting is that, like... I um, think just 1,000 would be fine. Yeah, because... That would be a normal Because what would happen then is then you would have, I think your last score would have been around 2,500. Um, but the problem, the problem with only giving one 1,000, the player would stop and then redo that streak again. You yeah. Would, you would die on purpose well, so you need higher and higher goals i you would can't stop at that thousand because i would i would on purpose die because i would never get that thousand again ever. Well, well what i think what you could do is it wrap back down to to repeated right so then you mm. could had to get back to like another hundred. so so it's like every another. hundred you get a thousand every yeah. hundred you get a thousand because that feels far more balanced and fair it does and um, cause yeah, yeah uh, cause also the difference between like forty five thousand and six hundred is insane. Yeah. Um, but if you got like you know, cause I think the other one you 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 did was probably closer to twenty five hundred or three thousand. Mm. If we mm -hmm. were to, if I were to if it guess, was like one thousand each time. Yeah, yeah. Um, which feels like achievable versus like, cause for me, yeah. I don't know if I could do a hundred streak. I think the best streak I was able to do was like maybe does it count your streak yeah oh, okay yeah. so one two oh, okay six. but it stops at 99 yeah but it does still count in the background i think well it it does but when it turned to zero zero and then it was just a thousand 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 right. thousand thousand because you hit <laughs> right. which is good that your skill is good at this because we were able to see that because we yes. never would have done that with me like it wouldn't have happened it wouldn't been able to test that it, it wouldn't have wouldn't have been a thing Territory. Yeah, it's around 50. So now we're in 50. And. Because see, like, you're at 200 points right now. So, like, right. that's 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 the crazy part, right? Like, you've got 70 in a row and you're at 250. And, but pretty soon. So now, 1,000 every time. <laughs> When does that stop, though? Never. We'll see. Uh, 
that went really long that time. Like, really long. So I think it does stop. We'll see. This is a, a plateau kind of game. So yeah, 95,000, right? <laughs> like, let's crush there's it. No, there's no. Let me let me let me try one more. You gotta I make will... it to a hundred. A hundred? Do I don't. I make will, it to that. 99. I don't think I'll be able to, man. No. What's your highest? Have you made three notes? Um, I think that's around fifty. I think it's fifty. Yeah. See, right? And it's relentless because, like, that was good. Like, I was yeah. doing well, and now it's, like, back to zero. <laughs> back to zero. <laughs> it's funny how Erlen not only plays my games, but he suffers them. <laughs> I really do, man. I can't. I've yet to beat a single one of your games. Basically, I watch James do the show when, I haven't when, beaten we, any of them. when we do a VHZ show. This is the closest I've come to beating one of his games. But I like suffering through your games. <laughs> I shouldn't say I'm not even going to say suffering. I It's the wrong word. I like it. I yeah. like the challenge. That's also why I like playing um, 2600 homebrew games because they are challenging. It's oh, like yeah. uh, modern games are there's no challenge. No, like, you can't die in modern games. They don't allow you to die. They're, they're really designed they're never to, ending. They're gambling addictive Yeah, They, um, they make you keep repeats. going. Or you're playing against other players if it's like a shooter. Yeah. They're they're like cumulative games. You never get reset to zero ever. You always keep your inventory or you keep where you're at. Um, they coddle gamers. Old school games like no, you're gonna die. You're gonna die now. Well, it's also you a, gotta it's get a, it's a, good. It's like a content thing, right? Because like you don't have as much content, so you have to be harder. Oh, James beat the first beta of Ninja Sky. Well, yeah, but you're, but expan that's a you're beta, expanding. You, you're, you expanded you that level, that. so so yeah, I, I did beat that version of it. Yeah. Have you finished a game? Like ever finished, hundred percent done? I put out the game because he has like four games on the go now. I don't think Peril was Peril finished. You gotta finish these games, man. Yeah, you gotta finish them. You're gonna put out like four in one year. The last the sun, quarter right? of anything is the hardest, it always, is. because you've gotten everything you need out of it, and now you just need to finish it to be released. Oh, I'd say it says Ninjish guys three times bigger now. <laughs> of course. Yes. Yeah. But it's great. Scum Software, I watched the past stream where you play One Button Bob. Oh, that was a good game. That was a cool game. I helped Atari 2600 land get the demo up and running. Not sure if you any, ever finished it, though. No. That was a cool game. I like we that We played one. it. It had like four levels. That had that was a very inspiring game. Man. I wanted it to have 30 levels, and all of them different. Uh, if he doesn't want to complete it, then I'll pick it up and finish it for him. I'll reach out to him and see if he's still around. Yes, please. Please finish that game. It's such a oh. creative, inventive game, which each level being different but only utilizing one button i really really would love you to continue on with that game because there's so many possibilities who of, said they'd pick it up uh scum software the scum. Egg, egg venture yeah, uh, someone's got to do it it's a good game oh yeah beat your old high score well yeah but see like the, this is the difference grinding, between you right? and me right like i can't get the same um uh streaks right so like it's just a different game for me right like because I, yeah. I think i got most of my points back like oh, i got yeah, my you're, health you're back full, full. so it's like but i'm not gonna ever be able to oh atari 2600 land is still around the aa forums oh yeah, yeah. so i did better but like yeah it's i've just... talked to atari 2600 land he's 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 around he's responsive so he he should be able to talk roach to is finished good Oh, oh yes, that is true. That is true. Roach is finished. Um, yeah, you should definitely get get them all finished and put them on yeah, cartridge. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. Well, at least I beat my score. That's good. Yeah. So good ending. We both did very well. Oh God. Uh, let me take off that poll question. We already dealt with that. 
Um, so, games today, really good batch. Yeah, it was good a lot of run. fun today. Wow, all of the games were, like, really, really in a cool place, man. They are. Um, bomb game, so much possibility for oh, that. Oh, insane. As, as we said, have a good base to start from. And it does. It's perfect as it is. It just needs variation now. Um, can't wait to see that develop. Oh, my God. That's going to be so much fun. And we need more two-player games. We do. It's not enough of them. And that is a great example of a fun two-player game. Simple. Just throwing bombs at each other. Yeah. And um, Lem is really cool. And very yep. addictive and fun. And, like, to play that one for a while is definitely, like... Yeah, it's got replay factor. A lot of it. And um, then Delta Force Sniper is, is really cool. Yep. Good, um, good simple concept. I think we had a lot of good suggestions that could have made it better. I don't know if it's done done um that's that's one that's a, one that just needs a little it needs something to sort of push it over the edge it feels like yeah. not one i would be stoked to replay unless no. there were changes versus like bomb game limited. and lamb i will lamb would be a good example of one that like as is i just i would be delighted to just play it again yeah it's relaxing yeah and, and it's, it's not too intense i could push for higher scores yeah. and you know there's a lot of stuff that it feels like uh yeah. Uh, versus the the sniper one is just like it, it is what it is even like a time limit like it just felt like i could just kind of on the easy levels i could just play it forever and on yes. the hardest level i can can't yeah. play it for like a second <laughs> so it's like somewhere between those two we need to hit like that's yeah. what we got and there's do. no graduating levels that was no. the problem you could set them to a different level but it you don't feel like you're progressing no in games you always have to feel like it's something is progressing like in this one there's progression. You're getting to the mu the multipliers. It's it's changing music. Like I also yes. Um, another suggestion: add add more music. Like it gets into random and then it repeats to the alphabet song. But hearing oh I made it to song number three. Yeah, absolutely. I made it to song number four. Rather, like rather than like a do 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> kind of turn I mean, it's fine well but... it, it seemed like it pitch shift down and then turned into like just bass notes which was <laughs> very interesting i was like that was great i mean i don't mind yep yep but uh um and yeah i mean this game is what it is it just needs i think tweaks little tweaks yeah. to get it, the balance right and he's already thinking of doing um doing tweaks um so and that's what the play testing is for I mean, totally. I, should, I shouldn't be getting 95,000 points no. when you're getting 1,000. Yeah, and it's just because of a, a, a bit of a... That's an error. It, it was an error. He it's did. an error, yeah. yeah. You certainly would have done better than me, but it's like, that's that's quite the margin. <laughs> yes, like eclipsing. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it is because of that thing. It's like, but if I could potentially get 100, which is possible, if I if I really grind it, I could probably do it. Yes, Lem Callister, we will be playing Boulder Dash probably a number of times in the future. Um, I'm going to be playing this off, off screen because I need to practice it because I don't want to uh, showcase a game where I'm terrible at it. That's, <laughs> that's not good, yeah. especially for one. Um, it's a big one. A high profile is this and that I've been waiting for literally two years to play on the stream before we've I even started the show. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably have at least one game before um i go away which is coming up middle of august what's in this it's like something metal in this Ooh. <laughs> yeah it's just should it's, we do the unboxing i should do that well yeah because i have to play it so let's do the unboxing yeah, let's see because <laughs> there is a weird metal sound yeah. so standard now atari age which is funny because people list this on ebay as um unopened or still sealed yeah like it's this not, this is not a sealed you can open sealed, it you friends. could open up the whole box and put it back together and i suppose just diamonds in the box that's right yeah diamonds in the box we'll see okay very nice fresh new box bending it i hate i hate ah oh. these boxes look 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 what i have yeah, to do man. to these boxes there's no way around it. Ugh. Now it's not perfect anymore. You can't be perfect forever, man. Yes, they can. That's how it goes. They can. <laughs> ah. Ah. I think Stuff. we just heard the sound. Oh, there is diamonds. That is funny. Did he... Oh, I suppose it was not joking. 
Tanya's head is in the box. It's, it's in the... So we got eight eight diamonds in a little plastic baggie. You want to show that to the, yeah, for to sure. the people there? Yeah, for sure. Isn't that... I'm going to just cover my eyes. There we go. Very nice. Up just a touch. Up. There. Oh, not too far. Too far. Down. There we, there we go. No. There. Excellent. Diamonds Some very in cool the Atari Age buttons. I have never... I don't have any Atari Age buttons. I have a lot of... Um, a lot of magnets, fridge magnets. Those are hi high drives. There we go. A very etro, uh, 80s retro badge. Let me try and spread these out a little bit, actually. It's so nice to have autofocus. It is. It's so good. You have to For like, this, man. This kind of show. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's kind of spread out a bit more. Check it out. Atari badges. Some very nice Atari badges. I think the incremental improvement in games is why we like games. Breathe the air of in some life, years Life ago. doesn't work that way. It's like you're, you're working at McDonald's. You, mm, you, old, you, know, you old get stock. yelled at by your boss on Tuesday, and then you get a promotion on Wednesday. And why? Because some <laughs> random shit. Versus in a game, we like progression because it's yes. achievable and measurable and specific. There's the Boulder Dash cartridge. The end label. Very nice. Why I think it's important to always have some level of progression in games. That's why we come here, I think. That's right. It's our human need. There's the front of the manual. Back of the manual. The little boulder dash guy with a striped shirt. Smart to do this now, yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to have to open you it and play it anyway. It. And we've got a nice poster in here. Boulder Dash poster. Very nice. And the box itself. And the back of the box. Excellent. Very nice. So I'm very looking forward to playing that. Um, finally. So all I've been able to play is the demo. And uh, so this will have all the levels. I think the Ooh. demo has like four different levels. Um, so this will have a lot There's a of Darcy show next Friday, right? Uh, this yeah, Friday? this Friday is Darcy's show. Oh, terrific. Uh, okay, Atari 2600 LAN just got back to Scum Software. Uh, he doesn't have the code anymore and forgot all about programming. So I'm going to pick it up and still have the code for it here. Oh, I mean... You're going to add different levels anyway. Totally. And it's a pretty simple... I think he didn't even walk. Like, the guy just moved across the screen. Honestly, the concept is killer. Yeah. I mean, you could... You could start from scratch. You could do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Um, and it, and it, it didn't... Like, I, the aesthetics of the thing was like, not impressive. Whatever. No. I mean, and then there's nothing wrong with that, but no. it was just clearly like... It's just the basics. But the I, concept is killer. Yeah. So One button. Yeah, so it was more of a proof of concept kind of thing. So I'd say take the concept and roll with it scum so that's great that he's given you permission that's uh, an excellent new game to do and i've never seen a 2600 game with those mechanics and that's what's important that it's going to differentiate from every other game that's, that's right. out there and i have one request scum and that is bird person needs to show up at some point in one button F fly in you have to duck <laughs> this, each I, time I, we or... need bird person at one point just one point little that's easter right. egg do it for zero page homebrew please <laughs> oh, the, the demo of boulder dash only has two two levels so very very limited okay um so yes it's darcy's show on friday i already have the games lined up for that so that's can, right can... literal easter egg yeah <laughs> yeah he drops eggs yeah you could drop eggs or something bird person that make me so happy <laughs> uh deep stone catacomb uh we've got a work in progress update on oh, friday so i'm gonna shit. be playing that on friday trying to complete it because that is a game i we have to complete that was one... I, we did play that in the marathon. Yeah, we did. And I, I remember I got fairly far. You did. I, I was I like... I was to the third dragon? I was at the third dragon and I... There was a second boss at the third dragon. That's right. And I just died right on the right second away. boss. Right away. We saw it for a second and then you died. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're going to be playing Mega Mania. Um, trying to get um, the patch for Mega Mania. And I am not bad at Mega Mania. So I have this high be... confidence this time. We played Pressure Cooker last Friday. 
tough game. I was getting closer, and I think it got about halfway. I, I have to say, James, mm. I've noticed that from the beginning of doing the show till now, I've noticed a huge increase in your skill on all games. I yes. think it's just it's partly like also I think so too. playing in this format is has that extra level of like challenge because you're it being does. watched, you know? Oh yeah, you have to be good. You can't suck at games. Luckily, I don't suck at games. I'm not like the best player in no, the world. No, but only at some games. I'm actually was the world record holder in some for games. Some, but I have to get those back. I still didn't do it at the marathon. Yeah. I'll I'll reassign Wall Jump Ninja to one of these Fridays. Sounds good. Hang on. But no, it's it's cool to see you get better and better at these games. Thank you. And especially certain genres as well. It's really cool. Yeah. And it's, it's embarrassing if you're not if you can't showcase a game to its one it's close to fullest extents. Like beat games, if you can't beat games, you're not showing the full game. And or this get is, or get to the ninth level, the final level, or whatever. And this is a particularly tough position to be as a gamer. I think it's far more typical for gamers to find one game and really master it, versus you're having to play different games all the time. Yeah. And that's just a different thing. Um, well, they do. They fall under similar categories. Mm -hmm. If you're good at shooters, you're gonna be fairly good at different sure. shooters. If you're good at platformers, you're gonna be okay at different platformers. And we play such a variety of games. Totally. And so many. And we of have them to pick them up so quickly yeah. that it's like that's the coolest part of the seeing the skill improve of just quickly being able to like yeah. figure something out. Pick it up and, and run with it as soon as possible. And yeah. that's where you probably why you struggle to not get like world records because to get oh, become wow. a world record holder, you have to basically devote two years to one game which is yeah. a certain kind of gaming and, and that's yeah. a wonderful way it's, but um you have to know the intricacies of that particular totally. game and and the uh, muscle memory of the types of movement within yeah. that game and the tricks of it and it's not a general skill it's it's a honed in skill when you're going for world records yeah because yeah. the and, and it is that interesting thing where it's it is that last quarter of anything is the hardest right yeah. anyone it can is. get to three quarters of something yeah, skill. but that last quarter is like that's actually where everything exists and that's just hours yes. putting in hours and it's it. and it is like a logarithmic thing where it's yeah. like you start to invest hundreds of hours for an incremental improvement <laughs> which is where you get to these crazy Easy world record people where you yeah. see them and they but the thing about it is like i think with uh any activity their subconscious processing is faster than conscious processing always it has to be. It's, so you it's, it's you have to internalize it all yes you yeah. have to not think if you because like these players that are playing at like world-class levels they don't have to think about anything they've seen it all yeah they've made that move a thousand times before it's like tying their shoelaces yeah. like how many like, times you i don't, don't even have... think about my shoelaces it's now. a thing that happens when your hands go to your shoe it's not a uh, uh, that way that way and they've done that jump before they've made that shot they've dodged that bullet a thousand times they it they just do it they yeah. don't think about do it they don't go how am I going to do it? Oh, I got close. And it frees their mind to then think about the bigger picture. Yes. And that's the, that's where like the refinement of games happen and and you know, and it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um and it's true with anything, music, um yes. writing, it's true with like mathematics, it's true with anything like yeah. if you have to think what uh basic uh arithmetic is, you're how not is, going to be doing how is the horsey move in chess again? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not thinking about that. No, you, you're you know the th 50 places that you can take this game to you're not thinking about what types of moves you're taking but think about strategy and yeah 12 levels deep strategy and in, in chess they have what they, they have the difference green foot they, welcome they, to they the last say five minutes um, <laughs> tactics and strategies and tactics are dealing with uh, what is right in front of you right and strategies is dealing with the overall picture and to be a killer at anything you have to yeah. be very tactical and very strategic it's, it's the old breadth versus depth yep it's like i have a lot of breadth and i don't have a lot of depth in all the games but in some games i do and you have to pick and choose where you're going to concentrate your hours in on your depth and that yeah that works in um your your career a anything in your life you you have finite number of hours yeah and people have to dedicate their time to you know either playing 2600 yeah. games or making films or making music or i don't know it's being like... knowing uh trivia about 
the TV show Friends. I don't know. Yeah, whatever your <laughs> like, thing, whatever is. thing is. And I think Mappy's a good game that has a good example of strategy versus tactics, yeah. right? Because a strat That's thinking like big picture, not like a straightforward game. You know, do I um uh, try to collect the things in the flashing order, yeah. or do I push through this one, or do I invest? How much time to invest here versus here? Am I gonna get killed if I do this? Is it better just to push forward? You know. Yeah. 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 So welcome, Arena Foot. Hey. The last couple minutes, and we're gonna say goodbye to everyone. We've played our games, and for Arena Foot, look, 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 we're gonna be playing Boulder Dash on the show very soon. Um. So all the people that were here today, quite a good crowd. Yeah, it's crazy. It was wonderful Thanks for having, hanging out, guys. Having I... all the developers, three out of four. And, developers and, and, were here and really consistent level yeah. of games you know sometimes oh, they, yeah. they really blip where there's one yeah. that's just like oh and there's one that's but, or and yeah. someone just works in progress like it's nobody's fault but yeah. this was a good one that solid, was like solid show all four uh, so repent repentless uh, video games phil san arena foot and paler 26 scum software thrust 26 vhzc dan avc lid likes intelligent didn't Yay. see your name up there till now I suppose to Lem Callister, Retro Happy Hour, Impaler 26. I suppose to. I suppose to. Uh, I know there's some names back here. Splendid Nut, Trey Guy. Guy. Yes. Uh, Tanya. Oh, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped in in her lunch hour from work. Uh, Pole Map Bot doesn't count. I guess he does count for one person talking. Yay. Uh, S. Ramirez 2008, RC7E, I might have said, Mr. Fix, uh, Blue Swimmer at the top of the show, developer, um, and that's as far back as my buffer goes, and uh, everybody else who watched um, but didn't chat, and of course all the people on YouTube watching it later who can't make it uh, live to the show, we always forget to thank them, yeah. but uh, actually more people watch later on YouTube than watch live. Yeah, uh, which makes sense because it's at their own leisure. That's what I would do personally. Yeah, just because of my schedule is too. You don't know when and... it's going to be, but it's it's fun having you guys here, um, interacting well, and, and reading off what you guys say and and uh, giving us suggestions and of course the developers always. Oh my god, I'm... it's so good. Um, and so we'll be back on Friday. Actually, another thing coming up on uh, August second, we're going to be playing the final version of Championship Golf. Hey, that, that was a, a cool one. That's a Friday show. You already played it. I know, but I'm just yep. saying like... He's finished the two-player. He's added a second player in there. That's smart. Yep. That, that adds the layer to it. And as I said, I, that gets a star of approval oh, in yeah. a genre that I hate. So <laughs> yeah. like that's an extra Sports win. Games. Yeah, yeah it is, a, it is a, an extra win. Um, and so on Friday, we're going to be playing uh, another update to a new update to Deep Stone Catacomb. And I'll be going for my Mega, Ma Mega Mania pack patch challenge. My words Ooh. aren't working. Um, and that'll be at uh, noon, one later than when we start today. And uh, and then there'll be a short, a bunch of shows. So there's five more shows, and then there's a short break because I will be in Texas, Dallas, Texas. So if anybody's in Dallas, Texas, you can come see my film that is playing at the film I festival. It. Uh, Women, Texas film festival um Dude, yeah militant buddhist has gotta be, hear about it militant buddhist is he's he from a... texas yeah. oh great I texas remember... is a big state yeah it's true but yeah. i mean but if you're in texas you're at least closer than yeah. like i don't I think know austin is two hours three hours away so there are some big cities near dallas yeah um so i don't know if anybody's out there you can come to my uh film shake my hand say hi um all that kind of stuff get your picture with me uh um Texas is a cool place to go to. It's a very interesting place. Yeah, Dan Kitchen came to the came to the movie while I was in New York at the film festival. Yeah. So that was awesome. So it was great. Um, yeah, it, hopefully the temperatures will go below thirty five degrees Celsius, which is I don't know what that's in Fahrenheit. Below a hundred, please keep it below a hundred. Um, Nathan yeah. Strom, welcome. Yeah, we're not used to that here. Um, the uh, your. Retron 77 arrived. The person who, the person above you, actually bid hey. on it. So there you go. And um, that arrived safely. The worlds are colliding. Looks like James will review, review, review uh, Boulder Dash before you. Who? <laughs> uh, Nathan Strum was going to review it? 
I don't know. Anyway, um, so thank you for tuning in to this Wednesday afternoon show. And we will see you with Darcy on Friday. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Yep, he'll be back next Wednesday. So see you then. Bye. Bye, everyone.